Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back, everybody, uh, for comics. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everywhere, wherever you are, whoever you are. And as our, your host for today is Technique and Nighthawk Plays. I finally get your name right. That's awesome. Nightwing, um, I'll take it, whatever works. I don't, I don't know what I was calling you <laughs> before, but... Uh, <laughs> what's up? Good morning, everybody. We have a we have a great show plan. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff out there right now. There's a lot of rumors. There's a lot of um, confirmed rumors, I should say. And they're not really rumors anymore. A lot of confirmations out. Marvel's getting really crazy about uh, feeding off of the energy of the fans and fans figuring stuff out and and then laying like, "Yep, that's it." DC is doing pretty good lately, and <clears throat> guys are like, a, a, they see a little light at the end of the dark tunnel. Uh, a lot of comic news is coming out. Um, uh, Avengers dropped War for Wakanda. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me, which was awesome. Um, Eternals dropped their second trailer, which was awesome. Uh, Shang-Chi had their premiere, which had really good ratings. Um, a lot of drama following that, though. Um, so we'll cover that. Uh, what if uh, Star-Lord Chadwick Boseman? Chadwick Boseman. Um, or, or T'Challa uh, came out. That was awesome. A lot of awesome this week. <clears throat> uh, Walking Dead news. Tons of that. Yep. Um, and uh, God, what else? There's so much more. Um, Riri Williams uh, confirmations. Black Canary confirmations. Uh, Jesus, the future Actually, of Actually, Miss uh, Marvel con- confirmation as well today. I saw it pop Ms. up Marvel. as well, too. Yeah. I just saw that pop up on my yeah, screen. Uh, so Andrew brief. Mackey confirmation. Yeah. Uh, being which we in Captain knew. Which we knew, but, you know, <laughs> at, at, as we say, contracts. Disney has to be like, yeah, we can announce it now officially. Yeah. Uh, even though they officially announced it after the show. But anyway, whatever. I don't know about that. I don't know what's up with that. But um, that's there. So, yeah, that's that's today's, Matt. I, I don't know, man. I'm swimming in all kinds of news. And the funny thing, I, I didn't even have to look far to get it. I was just kind of like, oh, slap with it in my face. You looked at your phone. You looked, You turned on your PC, and it just happened to be there. <laughs> this was, yeah. man, uh, this was, we haven't had a week like this, I think, in quite a while. Um, like you said, I mean, you probably could have kept on talking. I just saw that popped up either late last night or earlier this morning about Brie Larson. I mean, This past week, essentially since we went live last week, I feel like every day we were hit with another piece of information. And actually, um, I saw earlier day too, we're not even talking about, uh, uh, there's another He-Man TV show coming out. It's all CGI now instead of cartoons. So like, Mm. I just feel like this, man, we're in the age of the geek and it is, it is truly, truly awesome. But, but as you, as you heard from Frank Technique, this is. This is going to be a jam-packed show. We got a lot of things to talk about. We got a lot of fun stuff to talk about. And for those of you in chat, obviously, uh, we have you up in front of us. If you have questions, you got comments, please feel free to hop on in throughout. Um, We're going to be going over a bunch of stuff. Marvel, DC, obviously, we talked about Walking Dead. Uh, We got a bunch of movie and TV stuff talking about. So, um, yeah, but outside of that, Frank, how was your week? Everything good, man? I saw you were were just jumping off all over the place with MMOs and bopping your head. Uh, I saw that video this morning. Yeah, dude, yeah. Uh, <laughs> MMOs are out. They're real, man. Like, there's so many MMOs coming out, and it's, like, it's really good because it's where I built, obviously, it's where I built my community from. Um, and it's been, like, hard to shift into variety when you have a bunch of RPG MMOers. And when yeah. there's a drought, there's a drought. But MMOs are just kind of spewing out of the woodworks everywhere. Every crack, there's an MMO, and they're good. MMOs like uh, Bless Unleashed is great. Um, that's fun. It's free to play, uh, and I can't believe I'm saying that because Bless Online was just a shipwreck. Uh, thank you for the sub, man. Thanks for 18 months. Uh, or, thank you, Orchard, Orchard Eater. Eater. Orchard or Orchard? Um, what was Orchard. the other one? Uh, Ilion is that that MMO is baller. Like I, I played the first beta. It was I. Second beta, oh my god! I, I was like, I'm just gonna deep dive in this, dude. They have ev- like literally everything is in that in that MMO. There, there's nothing they didn't leave out. It's in there: housing, quality of life stuff, uh, time dungeons, secret dungeons, raids, solo dungeons, multiple person dungeons, open world PvP. Jesus, uh, flying PvP, <laughs> <laughs> verticality <laughs> map adjustments, huge map and just exploration, treasure hunts, you name it. I can I can go forever on that. It's just freaking ridiculous. There's so much stuff coming out of that. Um So what you're yeah, saying is everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. So I've been I've been hamming on that stuff and then we got a lot of sponsor stuff coming up next week and then September. Then we gotta get ready for the big, big September, October. 
releases oh man um that are coming up too so yeah it's been good what about yourself uh good man i i had a very very fun week uh diving back into we we talked about this briefly before yeah, we went oh, yeah, live well, but comment, yeah. so, uh, talking, I, yeah, I uh yeah. i haven't picked up avengers and i know i talked about it a couple of times on this like i want to get back into it i want to get back into it and see what it is we have the other two I don't know what you call them, DLCs with uh, Bishop and Kate Bishop, excuse me, and Clint Barnes. But obviously this mm. is a, a, a bigger than a DLC. It's an expansion. Mm. And I've always, I wanted to get back into it, but I just felt like the end game wasn't there for me. It was a lot of repetitiveness. It just, it just wasn't there. But man, Wakanda, the, the tone, the music, um, oh, yeah, the, music. the voice acting, Chris Judge, I mean, you heard a little Kratos in there because you couldn't get by it because you knew it. It was but, it was a lot of Kratos. But <laughs> I, I, I wasn't happy with that, honestly. But, I think his I, excitement uh, ones was too Kratos for me. But yeah. I mean, I'm not saying he didn't do a good job. I think he did a wonderful yes. job. When he was calm, when he was calm in right here, that yes. was perfect. But when he was just like, Getting into at me, I was like, okay, that's Kratos, bro. You got to calm down. Yeah, that de- um, like that extra deep note in like two or three words, yeah. it sounded like it. But I got to say, if you haven't dove into Marvel's Avengers or if you did and there was some things that kind of was off-putting for you, this is the best time to come back. It is all free. Mm. I had a blast with that. It took me about six hours to get through. The, yeah. uh, the end game has a lot more into it and they're going to be putting a lot more into it. Um... I, I mean, I, my, there was only one critique I had with it, but outside of that, I, the fight, his fighting style is a blast. Oh, it was, it was ridiculous. It was, they, it they was so it. good. It was so good. The they team, the, the, well, the, the teams <laughs> in Square Enix yeah. that helped put that together, man, that was, uh, that was a blast. So, uh, yeah, outside, was, outside of that, good. I mean, I, you know, we are, we are on the precipice of two crazy months of video games. So I'm happy yeah. that this came out now to dive into it. Yeah, yeah, we'll be talking about, we'll be going on a deeper dive into that a little later in the yeah. show, and I'll give Sorry. my ideas around <laughs> that. Um, oh, God, yeah, like I said, comic news, Black Canary, Riri Williams, uh, Shuri in a Black Panther outfit, showing that, that was nice. Uh, Shuri and Riri Williams, uh, comics that are being more popular and coming down. Um, Black Panther might be more popular than Spider-Man right now. It's no might be, it really is. Seriously. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man is starting a new arc in the comic series. Aladdin is still doing it, which nice. I'm happy about, but not at the same time. Like, my God, hire a freaking Afro-Latino already. That There's plenty out there that can write comics, like hire one. Um <clears throat> Uh, what else? Oh my God! Uh, Walking Dead being really powerful coming back. Eternals, like we said, Shang Chi, um, and uh, Wakanda Forever. Uh, big news and people going ham about that. It's it's really interesting how it works. I think everything is played together. Like how what if uh, Star Lord T'Challa being lined up with War of Wakanda being lined up with Wakanda Forever news? Like everything was lined up. So we got a we got a reason why things were pushed back for sure. Because I'm pretty sure Disney wanted to kind of like trifecta that together that, that's not a coincidence um so we'll get into it we'll, we'll get into some show stuff coming up um i think the big thing to talk about is probably what if um, yes you know we didn't deep dive into uh captain carter too much hope you guys got to watch it it was awesome um but it was great but my god star lord t'challa was mind-blowingly good um <laughs> so much to say about that it was captured brilliantly uh it was emotional for me yeah. and a lot of people uh hearing chadwick's voice for one last time sucks man well it's <laughs> it not really one sucks. last time he is going to be in a couple more episodes of this but still it was weird here like, I, you know, I, 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 mean, I, like, no no i 100 percent knowing that this is his final like hurrah it's man, just it's you know it sucks it's sad um, it, it is for sure hopefully he could hopefully he recorded some voiceover work which i think he did for uh wakanda forever um <clears throat> so hopefully they got some stuff in there for him uh because this i mean his death was sudden for us but it wasn't sudden for marvel i think marvel had a heads up on on what was going on you don't just like fall off the planet earth with cancer unfortunately there's a period of being really really sick which we've seen um because yeah, was... the people were being dumb yeah i was saying he was say, on yeah. drugs and stuff uh but anyway um more positive note it was awesome um star lord chitala was a very interesting thing there was a lot of cameos and a lot of oh, Easter yeah. and surprises in there 
Um, especially for the biggest surprise, I think, is freaking Thanos being on the team of uh, <laughs> Avengers. Awesome. That was really interesting to me. Um, we got our, our buddy from Walking Dead, Merle. I forgot his real name back in there. Uh, yeah, I think, I think in the episode, everyone played their yeah, character. The only there. one that didn't was... Uh, what were uh, Thanos's main three, right? Uh, 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 dark, uh, dark, not the Dark Alliance, but um, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's like on those the tip, guys. it's on the tip of my tongue too. One of those three wasn't the the Legion real of voice. Darkness, I think they're called. The, or something like that. One of those three. Uh, but Michael Roker came back. Harry and Gillian, you know, Amy Pond came back. I yeah. mean, uh, James Gunn's brother, I can't think of his first name right now, came back. Like every single one of those characters were Drax. back. Uh, what's his name? Oh, that Batista. was that was one of them. He actually didn't come back. He was the oh, one really? that yeah. Oh, he did a good job. That apparently, guy did a good job. his agent. Yep. The story goes. Apparently, his agent forgot to tell him about it, and that, exactly, exactly. Apparently, his agent forgot to tell him about it, and that's why he didn't return. But uh, yeah, the app, the the episode. Obviously, it was a little bit somber because hearing he hearing Chadwick Boseman's voice were potentially the final time. Uh, but the way they played off his character as Star Lord and how he changed the universe for the good, seeing the Mad Titan and the jokes about genocide, um, the the action was really cool too. I and the uh, I like the Ocean's Eleven feel of it. How it was mm -hmm. how it was a, a a backstab within a backstab within a backstab a twist within a twist within a twist. It was a fun yeah. episode to watch. It was I, really fun. The thirty somewhat minutes went by like that. I'm really enjoying yeah. what if it, and what they're they're creating right now. Yeah, I mean, oh man, I got like chill bumps. I heard doo -doo 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 -doo, you yep. know the, the drums and stuff. I got chill bumps. <laughs> it, it, it was really nice, and and uh, he was still Black Panther essentially. Um, you know, it's just. You know, a different version of him honestly it's, it was it was he was still doing the same things he did as black panther in a different multiverse but he was doing it on a on a galactic level yep um it was pretty powerful having a black man save the universe that that's powerful man like <laughs> it's, a, it's a really big thing and then bringing it back to wakanda and then bridging the gaps between um you know uh you know galactic warfare so to speak potential galactic warfare and having thanos see structure <clears throat> yeah uh, which is pretty nice what did he uh, what say? Is episode like, what, three supposed to be? What did he um, say? His Ant Man, his, right? Uh, I'm gonna actually look it up right now. But I think it's Ant Man. What? Like it was funny. It's like how did he? He? How did he get you to change your your ways? Like he just talked to me. I was like, yeah. that's insane. that's how powerful T'Challa as a as a as a as a character within mm -hmm. Marvel is. Like he he can get the Mad Titan to literally change his way just by sitting down and talking to him. It's that was crazy. That was crazy. It makes sense because he did the same thing with uh 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 Zeno, you know? Um Oh yeah. In 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 uh Civil War. And um I mean, granted, I, I, I there's still a lot of development with that character, but he's not as lost as he was. At least he has purpose now. It's like he took something from T'Challa talking to him. It may not have been what T'Challa, you know, essentially wanted him to take from it, but he yeah. but he is trying to it seems like he is trying to write his ways because honestly, it's not bad what he's trying to do in the series. He's trying to stop Super Soldier Serum from getting out of hand, you know? Yeah. So that's not a bad thing. And then the and the bigger evil was freaking Carter. Anyway, um, so it's it's very interesting how they're taking that um that synopsis on it. But I'm really I'm really digging what if. Um, the idea that what if is go it's going to be actual characters later on down the road is kind of interesting to me. Um, but I don't know if that's rumored or confirmed, honestly. Um, I believe, I believe, I think we talked about this last week. Uh, Kevin yeah. Feige and producers from Marvel themselves, Marvel Entertainment, said that we do plan on bringing these characters into the the the. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know the terminology they said, but I think it was. Uh, uh, into the uh, live shot stories that we're gonna tell. So whether that means movie, keeping it within Disney Plus, but we're mm. supposed to bring I think these it's gonna characters. Be like a Secret Wars type thing, and it's gonna be like a galactic yeah. battle. I I kind of don't want that because it's just another mimic of it's just a bigger in, yeah. like in game at the end of the day. But um, you know, whatever. I, I think whatever they do is gonna be fun. Um. um so apparently, what if <clears throat> three the synopsis hasn't been out there, but from apparent leaks. It's supposed to be the uh, Iron Man and Loki on Earth story arc that we saw oh, in a couple really? of trailers. Oh, I thought it was Ant Man. I saw so, like even poster art of it. 
<clears throat> well, okay. Um, Actually, well, what? Whatever. What if it'd be out on Wednesday? So yeah, I mean uh, that that whole just at the beginning. I mean, you got the you got the normal introduction from Watu, right? And then it's kind of weird that they said that because Iron Man is R well R R D J. I don't R D J and Killmonger. So, because this kill it's, it's the what if Killmonger was a hero. I mean that will RDJ. answer that will answer the to the question of who the Black Panther is then. Yeah. In this universe, yeah, before RDJ uh, went into being Iron Man, he saved yeah. him because the whole point of RDJ going to Iron Man is the fact that he got caught and had the old blueprints of his suit, or uh, oh, not the old blueprints, but created blueprints for you know whatever Iron Man suit to be to escape. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of weird. So we'll, we'll, I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be. A new, I mean. The one thing we've learned is whatever we thought about these episodes and what's going to occur, it's it's completely different. I mean, just starting that last episode where, where he goes, you may have heard of me. I'm not even going to try to do the accent. You may have heard of me, Star-Lord. <laughs> and he, Star-Lord, like he freaks yeah, out yeah, compared funny. to not knowing. It was the whole episode, last. even the throwback to uh, him actually being a mad titan where he goes, you know, what are you going to do? get mad or something like that and you just see him run in and start punching people and throwing mm. people around it was it was a fun episode and oh also is what if he had a relationship with his daughter like a positive relationship yeah with gamora you know um which that's... is nice because we don't know where gamora is i mean we assume she's going to be part of something later on but we don't know what she's all about now clearly um oh, this version he never tortured his daughter that yeah that was huge um, the blonde hair, so the nice, of yeah. crazy stuff. Uh, the collector was awesome. That was Benicio Still del Toro again. I loved it. Yeah, duck was in the Howard air. the funny. duck. I mean, yeah. are you kidding me? And it was uh, Seth Green, the same one from the movies. Uh, I mean, it's like I he like. Still it. had no point in it, just like he didn't have yeah. any point in the other ones. <laughs> He's just getting drunk. <laughs> the martini. Yeah, it's it's happy hour. I mean, he did. He did throw some knowledge on yes. T'Challa, which was pretty cool um the girl that poor girl that the collector uh had in the you know in the movies that he kind of not tortured but kind of enslaved so to speak and she got her revenge back that was pretty cool yep. all the people that he's chopped up and put together weird experiments uh was shown that was pretty cool um there was a lot of stuff that happened because in that what if universe we're like okay uh thor's sister i forgot her name god sakes Sif? Uh, oh no thor's sister yeah, 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 yeah. She was the queen in... of the. Oh, uh, um, Helna. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Helna. Kate, Helna's yeah. helmet being there. Uh, that was dope. The, the freaking Captain American shield. That was weird. Thor's hammer. Uh, yeah, the uh, the elf's knife. So what I'm yeah. getting is, so I thought, and and let me get your take on this. So so I thought this was going to be its own timeline. Oh, clearly no. it's, it's a, not each show is a different timeline yeah but like then how yeah. are they going to bring it together unless we're assuming wrong how are they going to bring it together that's right i think to the that end whole thing... that it's all together and it's this version of the, the avengers so it's I just going to be a tech tesseract i think it's the tesseract i think the peggy carter part or the captain carter part is like literally still you know fury bring everybody together Nick Fury being everyone together again because they weren't surprised when they saw her roll through that damn portal. It was like quite obvious. He was just like, "Hey, we need you for this." But she, like, what the? F but in it's that over. in that timeline in that universe, she was supposed to be there. Like, so I guess I get it. I guess I think okay. so. I think I do because oh, wait, Barnes no, 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 knows no, no, no. that's it Peggy was, Carter. Was, she was from the past. It was it was her being thrown seventy years in the future without ice. But through a portal that she didn't mean to go through in, in, portal... in her world in her timeline this t'challa timeline is mm -hmm. completely separate like it's in right. a it's, it's okay but i mean it, now with the multiverse being cracked up we, we don't know what the power of the tesseract actually does now hey glam what's up dude that's true yeah so every episode is, yeah every episode is a different multiverse but yeah also glam. you have yeah. people that can travel multiverse um so you know we'll, we'll see what's that every what if issue is a separate universe i kind of wish they weren't trying to bring them together um he because he says it at the beginning too it's like a uh, watu says it's like a shattered something 
And I thought originally going into it, this was just a separate timeline that broke off. But now it's clearly these are just the answer, different timelines, different the universes. Is Eternals, because the Watchers <laughs> were freaking shown in the Eternals. No, he was shown in the. He's in the Eternals. That that trailer they showed him at the end. Did they? they? The I mean, we're gonna watch the, the trailer and talk about because the Eternals trailer like, in a little bit. Who do you answer to? And it was a freaking Watcher. It oh show, it showed, no, that was the was Celestial. Like, that was this, where, where, was where you see where you see the girl that's uh, reprising her role at, in uh, not reprising her role, but she's coming back. She was in um, uh, Miss Marvel. That one where she goes, you know, where where um, Kit Harrington goes. He was talking to the he was talking, to, and then she said something along the lines of, "Who are you? Who do you? Who do you answer to?" And yeah, then you see yeah, the, yeah, that yeah. was a, that was a celestial. That was the it looked judge. like a watcher to me. It looked like one of the watchers. Well, yeah, because it had six eyes. Yeah, six eyes, and he had the cape that they wear and everything. It was just gigantic. But we know that smoke and mirrors for the watchers. So we, uh, so it was like this gigantic, galactic-looking, uh, what do we call it? I don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't go deep diving into because I don't want to uh, see. Uh, that's my. That's why I didn't want to watch Eternals because I will sit there and dissect shit. And then I'll figure out the whole movie. So I don't want to do that um, at all. So I'm going to stay away from that. But we'll just do that thing, as rumors. We'll see. The good um, thing that came out of it, though, right, was yeah, you no, were okay, you so, weren't a you weren't a big fan. You didn't no. know what to think of Eternals. But now yeah, you came no. out of it saying, "All right, here we go again. We got another one." Well, I mean, we can go ahead and segue into that. Um, okay. Well, what ifs are awesome. Watch them. Well, I guess I don't I don't like spoiling what ifs because they're so cool to have so many Easter eggs. It's something that you should watch a few times in a row. Um, it was great uh yeah eternals i did not give a crap about them because i didn't know what the heck's going on um they didn't give any substance to it it was just like a bunch of people you know around a table having a thanksgiving dinner and talking about the avengers and talking about the story but uh pretty good uh someone Hylek is in this movie um she's awesome she's a queen she's been around forever yeah. she doesn't show her age at all she's still as gorgeous as ever um, Eternal. <laughs> yeah, she's she's very and, and I love her role in this because a lot of roles in her uh, in our movies she's playing kind of like the the kidster of a lot of things. She's joking around and stuff. This one she's pretty serious. Yeah. Uh, the graphic effects are freaking amazing in this, by the way. Oh yeah. Um, each character has their place. It seems I like the different personalities of the Eternals. Um, I like the way they explained how each one of them fit. Where they change mm -hmm. the matter. You're a speedster. Um, you know, you, you can manifest it, you know, into, you can manifest weapons from anything. I really like how they're all different and, um, oh my, and I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. That, that scene right there, there's a scene at the end of this that I need to talk about, but I need to bring it back to DC because I want something so bad coming out of this trailer. Um, I think you're right. Watching the trailer. I, I understand like, oh, you're talking about right here that you're talking about that, right? Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, okay. Because that's Not like this. Josh said. That's the um. That's the oh, judge. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought. I thought he had a cow that came off to the sides. Oh, okay. 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 Heads. But, but yeah. then again, like I said, I was not watching this deeply because I did not you didn't want, want to it, dissect yeah. it. Um. Yeah, because <laughs> they give away. Don't they? Don't though they don't give away the plot. We get to learn a lot more, and I believe we know what's going to happen. So I won't even say it because I don't want to, you know, give you any, you know, uh, cannon fodder for thought. But, you know, we know that they've been here for 7,000 years. We know why they didn't interfere with um, mm -hmm. the Mad Titan coming and the, the the snap of the fingers. But we do know, I think, what is going to be the main plot of the movie coming out of this. Well, um, they said something on the lines of that, was a disturbance in the system what the blip yeah so and it was a, it wasn't didn't they say something like that's cool right there i like i like that it, it it made them realize that they should be interfering well so i don't know about that but they specifically said oh that's a great scene they, yeah. they specifically said that we're not allowed to interfere within like male con mo uh, not male excuse me mortal yeah. mor mortal conflicts and yeah, that's in the universe. The deviance, they're right. only supposed to go out of deviants or other eternals uh, that are, you know, mean. Um, so that's why they didn't go. But the thing that gets me is technically, technically, and you'll agree with me on this one, um, the Mad Titan Thanos is an eternal. 
so they should have stopped him. He is he's part of the of mm. the cosmic, you know, he's an offspring, so technically they should have they should have went after him. Okay, I need to bring this up right here. So I watched this at the end and I started freaking out just seeing that. Please, DC, give me a Superman movie where he's oh, not going against Zod. I want him going against aliens and destroying and going ham. I don't want him holding out. Just this little scene itself just reminded me of Superman. Should just just please for the love of baby Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Like these, just that little scene by itself when he was fighting aliens, not just a human or a Zod or another Kryptonian. I want to see Superman fighting crazy creatures as I spit on my monitor because I'm so focused on this. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so that's know, the Turtles trailer. Uh, you know how I feel about it, man. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, Angelina Jolie, uh, character looks awesome. Uh, yeah. she, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see her because, goddamn, she's a superstar when it comes to action films. Yeah. In general, and I don't know why she hasn't been used lately, but it could have been, it could have been on her. I know she was going through a bunch of like depression and stuff, family uh, stuff for a very yeah. long time. Uh, because you know, her marriage was weird. They, I mean, they're two weird people. That whole Brad Pitt but, um, awkward and uh, you weird, know, yeah. and her kids and all that stuff. So I, I don't, you know, there's a lot of going on with that. But it's nice to see her back on the film. She looks great, man. She looks great. She looks in shape like she normally is. I mean, Angelina's ripped. Um, yeah, that, that's a star-studded cast, too. I mean, that's a lot of good cast member, members in this. Um, I think I'm, I'm definitely a lot more interested now. And I was like, okay, this is what I need to see. Yeah. To be interested in it. Uh, it looks awesome. I don't know how they're going to fit a lot of this in two hours and 30 minutes. Like, <laughs> I'm almost like this should have been a series. I almost feel like it should have been a series. Now, uh, now we're getting spoiled with the Disney Plus. It's like, just do everything yeah, in series, I, I, please. I just don't see where we're going to get as much information as we need to out of this because right after this we have spider-man do we know and... if this is did they say that eternals is going to be a trilogy like we know shang chi is supposed to have sequels do we know yeah. if the eternals is supposed to have sequels yet i, I mean, hope I so you don't just bring out these powerful ass people and just be like hey two hours 30 minutes baby that's it i know they're going to show up later <laughs> on um but I, I i just i really hope that it's going to be um, more involved with him because I feel like this is where we're going to get a lot of answers um, coming in. So hopefully things things work out. I don't know. I, I just kind of want them to bridge the, t the gap between gods and, uh, you know, the Eternals to Celestials. And we're going to definitely get thing, the hierarchy. I, we're definitely going to get the hierarchy. There was something in there. Yeah, there was something in there. I don't know if it was Loki that I heard this. I feel like it was Loki where they were, they were like, you're just a god. <laughs> like, oh, it's like, it's nothing. <laughs> like, you're yeah, just gods, a god. Mortals, eh, you know, it's like, whatever. So, it's, you know, I, I believe it was Loki and I believe it was the talk um, with Kang. I, I believe that's where I got that from. But the fact that he's just kind of shrug off, like, yeah, you're just a god, bro. Like, okay. Like, you know, it's, it's no big deal. Uh, so I'm, I'm very excited, Eternals. Um, coming, uh, especially in November. Hopefully it comes to Disney+. Plus. I really hope that they they stop this only theater crap because, I mean, the world is not in a good place right now to just put it's things getting, in theater. So it's getting worse, Shang-Chi will be, unfortunately, not seen on day one. Um, just how it is. Yeah, so also with that, we'll keep you uh, apprised of when we're going to be talking about him and going into spoilers when it comes to movies. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of uh, moving parts here um, on the comics and in the world, uh, especially. We don't want to spoil something too soon for people, but we also have to realize of what's going on in the world. So we'll keep you apprised of, of when we're going to start talking about this stuff. You can follow us on our Twitters, our our Instagrams, our TikToks, etc. Obviously, here on Rare Drop, we'll be giving you some information as well, but um, we'll definitely... Uh, We'll definitely let you know. And yes, Josh, the IKEA durability thing. Oh, this must be Vibranium Psh, Summer Collection IKEA. That was I like yeah. the I like how they still have the 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 com the comedic aspect of it as well popping into these, and they're not and sponsorship. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo, sponsorship. There's always there's always like the hidden, you know, Tony Stark with uh, 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 Mercedes and McDonald's um, Audi. 
you know, because he's like the show person for Audi. Yeah, the R8. Every Audi there was, or he had every Audi there was. Um, and this freaking IKEA. I like all these. I like these names just popping up randomly. I mean, um, they gotta be the bringing place. in the Eternals now too, because we know that whatever for whatever the big bad, even though we know Kang is a big bad, there could always be someone bigger. And if you're getting I mean, co- very I, cosmic, I think Galactus is going to be... I was going to say, like, who yeah. who can go against the Eternals? Who can go against the Celestials? When you talk about cosmic beings, and with Fantastic Four coming down the pipe, assuming, assumingly in later 2022 or somewhere in 2023, my big bet is those two, actually. Galactus or... Um, or Doom. I mean, they're Doom's just they're gotta setting come. it you up. You can't do a revamp Fantastic Four without. That's what I wanted to say. Doom. Like you just can't yeah, you do can't. it. He's, you can't he's even there. do Champions or Young Avengers without Doom. Like it, it's, you know, it's just like the biggest setup ever. And then Galactus, and then Secret Wars. I mean, there's there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of stuff you can that stacks up to it. But Marvel always surprises us. I'm just gonna leave it alone until I get more, you know, more concrete evidence and then um, go from there. I am gonna say this right now. What is this? August 21st at 12:36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eternals is going to give us a direct link, direct link, excuse me, to mutants. I think this is the one that's going to bring mm. us down the path of, of there being mutants on Earth with us with dormant abilities like we saw with Wanda in WandaVision. They have an impact in it, and the blip and the dormant ability and all that stuff unlocks it. No, we don't want to see it. Maybe... Nope, stop. Maybe I don't. Oh my god, turn it off as an advertisement. Sorry, eh, <laughs> just change scenes. Okay, uh, I maybe I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to dissect it too much. Yeah, um, that's a big, that's a huge maybe for me. Like a maybe not type thing. Uh, I think we're gonna get mutants in a TV series rather than a movie. Uh, dro- dropping the idea of the mutants and then possibly leading into a future of X-Men and all that worlds. Mm-hmm. I think that's something that you don't just... that that That's something that they would do in a the movie theater, but at the end of credit scene type thing. Um, but I honestly feel like there's a better way to introduce mutants. Yeah. I think they should start with Storm and Wakanda. I think I, I, think I love that idea. I do love that. Yeah, idea. I think that's a great way because she was a she was an African like powerful shaman before she was Storm, and I think that is something that we need to see and really need to be like, oh, <laughs> what you know, and like get the whole background of her, and it needs to be a completely different actress than Haley Berry. Oh no, um, absolutely. They 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 can't. They yeah, should not that use shit out. that Fox stuff. Get it out of here. I don't even care. You don't even have to have. Um, uh, Hugh Jackman in it. I, I don't. I don't want any of them. Uh, Dead Deadpool confirmed. <laughs> I'm not a Deadpool fan, man. I'm not an MCU Deadpool fan. I, I just think they're overrated movies. Uh, I love. I think Reynolds is great as Deadpool. I think he's a great Deadpool. I just don't think Deadpool fits in our universe. Our universe is too serious for Deadpool. I don't. I don't even want to say serious. I don't know what to say. But Deadpool movies to me aren't. They're that comic relief that you get from, like, a side type thing, you know? Like, let it be its own. It was kind of like X-Men to me. Kind of let it just do its thing. Just don't introduce it unless you bring it to where this Deadpool is a different Deadpool that's being introduced, and he is still Ryan Reynolds, but have a bit more substance. I just well, feel that's... like Deadpool is just comic relief, and I hate that they did that to that character because now I don't like the character. Well, once again, you know? it was under Fox. It was it was its own thing. The, the, I liked the first movie. I wasn't a huge fan of the second movie. There is just it was just it, I understand Deadpool's supposed to be batshit crazy, um, and that's that they definitely went, but it was a little too much for me. The good thing about it is, like you said before, now it's officially under the Marvel umbrella. So I do put a pause into it where, however, they're going to re- I guess he was introduced in that, no, in that no, clip, no, no, but no, like no. really introduce him into Marvel right. the proper way. I am, um, I'm, I'm intrigued by it. And I, it's hard for me to believe that they're going to do it wrong because of Ryan and because of how 
massive it is. But I do understand mm. the pause. Uh, quickly, yes, yes, Glam. Uh, Storm in Wakanda would be fantastic. And if they're going to go the route, I think you think and I think they're going to go the route with, with Shuri, it would yeah. be perfect because then it's all female then. It would be absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah, and, then, and it pays the old back to, to, to end game. And then on top of that, no, they're definitely, 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 definitely not recasting T'Challa. That is yeah, I'm just going through the comments here. The part. Yeah, they've but, already said that they, Kevin, I said Kevin, Kevin specifically said, sorry to cut you off, that they're not doing that. So that's already yeah. off the table. Yeah, and if they did that, it would be detrimental. To, yeah. like, it'd be probably one of the worst things they could ever do. Um, But uh yeah i think yeah we don't have to have the love story between t'challa and storm i think that would have been great if you know chadwick was still here with us that would have been a that would have been perfect easy you know but you know unfortunately that isn't happening but there's still the rebellion um that they can push yeah oh uh, the dory minaj makes their own separate sect i forgot what they were called something with birds i forgot um and i mean Storm we've already part of that we've already seen the Midori minaj going after in falcon winter soldier so you know yeah. did she yeah, yeah, specifically yeah. say or was that like no, their the own king, thing the king is still technically i think he was there. still there at that time okay yeah it's but <laughs> speaking of which <laughs> avengers wakanda uh war for wakanda t'challa is star lord wakanda forever announcements we were really yeah. all lined up together. So now oh, I know. Wakanda, yeah. I was like, why the hell did they push back War of Wakanda? You know, it's, only, it's, it's, I mean, it's a good thing they did. But now I'm like, okay, so Disney wanted to do an umbrella release. And that's, that's okay. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, um, showing Shuri as, spoilers if you didn't see it, but showing, I mean, you guys, if you read comics, you know, this showing is Shuri as War Queen for Regent. Yeah, this is um uh this is war for wakanda yeah the big expansion that came out this past week on tuesday mm -hmm. for marvel avengers the game and see yeah. we did address that that's the judge celestial the judge Go yeah ahead. okay celestial the judge that makes sense so it actually makes a lot of sense yeah so she being queen major because t'challa's leaving his land which was a problem from the from, from the dormanage was like uh-uh okoye was like you're gonna leave like this is your duty here, you know? And he's just like, I have oh, a bigger duty. Right. I have a bigger duty. And, um, but he appointed Shuri, who was always in touch with Wakanda. Yes. She knows Wakanda better than anybody, he even says that. I was like, okay, great. You even set it up in the video game to set up for the, the idea to be put. It's not like they're like the video game leads to MCU because they're completely different mm -hmm. formats, but it still gets people in the mind frame of Shuri being in power, which is very smart. And that wasn't that wasn't some just random thing that they came up with. It throws us into thinking, okay, Shuri, seeing Shuri in power is a good thing. It's a nice thing, and it, it'll automatically push into the movie. And then with Riri Williams being announced, uh, which we already knew, they, those that news leaked a long time ago of Riri Williams being announced. We didn't know how we were going to interject her into the MCU. We thought that she was just going to get interjected through Disney. But for Riri Williams to be in the movie as big as Wakanda Forever, that's huge. Which means Riri Williams is going to be one of the big, the big bigs when it comes to like marketing and, and all that good stuff. When it comes to Marvel and Disney, she's not just a, a throwaway character. Thank God, because I was worried about that because Ironheart is not as popular now as, or she's nowhere near as popular as Iron Man. She's nowhere near as popular as Miles Morales Spider-Man because they don't market Riri Williams as they should. And that was a big problem that we had when it came to women uh you know lead roles especially black women lead roles but the fact that she's gonna have a relationship with shuri we don't know what she's gonna get from shuri and people are pissed because they're like it's not rdj uh, it's not it's not tony stark but it is don't throw that away because they share technology so for shuri people and tony share technology which leads to what if shuri makes iron heart suit so I was, I, was, I was just about to say, for those of you who don't know who we're talking about, maybe Frank can give you some input. So the big news coming out, another big piece of news that happens to be Wakanda news that came out, as, as Frank said, with the umbrella this past week was that uh, the character in the MCU, Riwi Williams, will be first introduced in Wakanda forever. She's one of the main characters in Don Cheadle's co-headlining uh, Armor Wars, uh, which will be coming out to Disney+. Plus. Uh, and it's big. So, so for those of you who don't know who Riri Williams is, 
who Ironheart is. I know when she came into the comic books, I remember reading all over the web, like everyone was furious, like no one was happy about it. Can you kind of explain who this character yeah. is, where she came from, what what she's about? And, and obviously you kind of hit a little bit of the significance, but the significance of her? Yeah, she's she's actually really big in the comics. Um, a lot of people just don't give her love because... So basically it came from Civil War three, uh, Tony Stark versus um, uh, Captain Marvel and Captain Marvel fucking killed Tony Stark. Uh, she went through his suit. Um, oh, she, and, really? Oh yeah. All right, well I'm picking she up punched Civil War three. I gotta get that arc. Hulk, Iron Hulk suit. Uh, pissed her off by saying something. Cause you know, Tony Stark loves to get under people's skin. Yeah. <laughs> and he had a barrier up and he was protecting Miles Morales at the end of the day because the whole idea was killing Miles Morales because of a prophet telling uh, Captain Marvel that the, the world is getting ready to be thrown in complete chaos and Miles Morales is at the center of it. He's going to kill Captain America. This is bad. And the scene started playing out where Miles Morales seeked out Captain America at, on, uh, at the White House because he's, you know, at the time yeah. president. And, uh, but it wasn't what they thought it was because the prophet was wrong because <laughs> he only he says that he sees the truth he just sees glimpses he dreams about it i've got his name knight something um at the end of the day uh captain marvel tried to talk miles down into surrendering because she didn't want to hurt him I, uh tony stark came out and went against captain marvel and that whole thing happened because she killed the hulk oh yeah she killed she killed bruce banner and that made Tony Civil War three start. Gotcha. They went against each other. Tony Stark died. Big old quotations. Uh, and he had a fail safe that triggered that created an AI version of himself with all his essence, all his memories, everything. Does it sound so familiar? Um, <laughs> yep. Which ended up being in the, the mobile video game. Pretty okay. Um, that's the Tony Stark. It's one of the Tony Starks you get. So Reba Williams is a nine year old genius she's nine year olds and she completes college at nine <laughs> and she stayed longer than she wanted to because she was bored so she act like she she just didn't take class seriously uh tony stark has a program where he brings in kids and like talented kids into his techno te technology school um and uh it's a school of talent or whatever and it's kind of was hinted in the mcu uh when he was trying to lie about peter parker um and other stuff and they, that kid that was supposed to get in there from africa then died um Rewa williams was taken she had a picnic grew up a little bit had a picnic and lost her whole family her mom her her i don't well so i want to say her dad um her best friend everybody got Sheesh. shot up it, this this was like a neighborhood thing she, she wasn't in a good wow. neighborhood it was like kind of the, the, the ghetto as one of people say got shot out and everything Long story short, she was always an introvert. So she started putting her ideas into building suits. She was a big Iron Man fan um, because in her area, Tony Stark has done a lot for that area. Um, trying to create a whole Iron Man replica. She actually did. It failed. She tried to be a superhero and failed miserably. Caused a lot of problems. Tony Stark to the rescue. Uh, <laughs> Pepper Potts. <clears throat> she ended up going to that school and Pepper Potts introduced her to Tony Stark's lab. And she was in that lab, found out a couple of things, and next thing you know, RDJ um, got with Pepper, and they gave her rights to the lab because he saw something in her. Next got thing it. you know, he was like, I don't think you should be Iron Man because you're not a man, you know, <laughs> like, you know, and all this <laughs> stuff. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I kind of want to do my own thing, but I can't come up with a name. And he was like, kid, you got a big heart. Ah. And then he came up with, like, being Iron Heart because he told her that, she needs to start thinking more rational and she wants to save everybody. He's like, you can't do that. You're going to find times where people are going to die in your arms and it's going to suck. I mean, that's, that's the part about being in a position we're in. And she didn't like that idea. She found out the hard way. Uh, even villains that she went against died and she, 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 didn't, she didn't like it because it goes back to her family dying. You know, what happened with that? So anyway, long story short, Rescue comes into play. Pepper Rots trains her. Um, along with RDJ is now her Friday, aka her Jarvis. Jarvis, yeah. And um, <clears throat> she shuts him off so many times because <laughs> he's annoying. That's uh, awesome. And, and he's always with I told you so type thing. You know, he's like a kid I have more experience than you. So, anyway, long story short, 
she's a kid genius and then later on she creates iron heart suit that fits her it's not bulky it's very it's very sleek and like really like tight to the chest type suit um with better material better power source than what tony stark had and everything she created her own version of his like kind of just like made his stuff better and then eventually she goes off and meets shuri because they share technology her and tony stark and she finds out and shuri like pretty much ups her game and gives her better material i think her suit becomes vibranium at some point um they go off and they save the that's world sick. and they become best friends and that's in that comic right now is really 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 popular because of the wakanda announcement they saw a spike in sales obviously so people want to know who riri williams is so that's that that's that's the big you know short-ended answer to that um and she's also <clears throat> a very big major role in young avengers aka champions yeah, um as we know that they're bringing together because yeah, there's that's... just too many coincidental people in there um there's just yeah like you said there's way too many people and i like how you said she's nine but if you look at the the actress i believe her name is dominic i don't know well, how to she's pronounce nine it. in the beginning when she gets introduced so she's they, the backstory so, so man, they still probably will do that backstory yeah, yeah because she, was she nine looks years like old. she was nine years old making a suit but she was nine years old in college gotcha oh that, that's what it is yeah because if you look at yeah. the the actress she's she looks like who the, the the actress that plays shuri in the mcu they look like they're this, gonna be the same age give or take so the relationship yeah. that they could have especially if they're gonna take shuri and give her the mantle of of black panther or or queen what does he say in the video game queen queen Free something agent. yeah yeah like that's that standing it, queen until that, that, back that's that's that uh that back and forth the the relationship the technology and how she could become iron heart um especially mm -hmm. if it comes from seeing shuri in power like how she gets there is going to be interesting how is she like get showing up or is shuri out in in like uh like the... oh dude are you talking about riri williams are you talking about shuri dude so i just so at the end of black panther what does mm -hmm. T'Challa do with Shuri and the place that Killmonger grew up? Grew up? It was in Oakland and in California, and uh, they created a lab. That's Shuri where Riri's. Lab there. That's where Riri's probably gonna be, and that's how they're gonna introduce her. Mm -hmm. Like they may do a little turn. Maybe Tony I, I Stark stuff, Riri but Williams may not be from L.A. She or seemed... Oakland or California area. I think she's New York or Georgia or something of that nature. And Queen she region. goes Thank to. You, Josh. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm just region. trying. I'm, I'm, I, not reagent, but region. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to like. Obviously, now I'm really going into it, like trying to figure yeah. out and plot and theorize it, it like how be, it's going to be introduced. It, I mean, like I said, it could be that lab could be something dealing with like a, a scholarship in college yeah. where kids get to go to lab. It could be all you know. It's just a whole bunch of things because. The whole point is Wakanda sharing their technology with the world. Yep. Um, and ma major corporations that they deem fit, and Tony Stark Labs being one of them. Um, so it's like that. There's a lot they can do there. That's a big safe realm for them to of ideas to move around with. We will. I think we're gonna get the younger. We're definitely gonna get a younger Riri yeah. Williams cover story, and then we're gonna go into present day Riri Williams, which is around like 16 to 18, somewhere in that bracket. She's That's what definitely she looks like too. Yeah. Um you know but that goes without saying people can look young yeah. and be older and, and so on and so forth but 16 to 18 i think right now current story Ree williams is 18 um miles morales is 18 now which miles is i think miles is 19 now i think he just had a birthday so i believe that miles is a year or two older than Riri, which okay. is interesting because in the mcu i don't know how they're gonna play that off uh yeah, I don't know how they're gonna play that off in the in the MCU. That's gonna be interesting to me. Do you think we'll see? Because Miles? I know that they are doing casting for Miles Morales, young Miles Morales. That doesn't necessarily mean it's Spider Man Miles Morales. It might be a young version of Miles, just showing that he's growing up as a kid. I don't think they're gonna do the Spider Man uh, thing you. at all, because I know they're they're seeing pictures of the a couple of kids that they were looking at um but i don't think it's gonna be a hard casting anytime soon it'll probably be like phase five before we see any news about that and he Ma may not even be spider-man at that point he may just be a kid is miles you know? was miles ever part of the young avengers or the champions yeah. okay oh yeah he's he's like the leader actually you know at some point um between him and miss Mar miss marvel they both led champions in young avengers yeah uh and especially after nova lost his powers so it's 
it's there. No and then there's a big fucking like draw. They are draw. You think Avengers is drama, boy? Young Young Avengers is going through like hormone hormones <laughs> and like finding out that they bleed at a young age. You know, all this stuff is happening. Being a teenager is happening at the same time. Miles is like got girls liking him. He don't even know what's going on. There's there's spider oh, sense they is tingling. Introduce, in Young Avengers, they introduce like heavy. Uh, there's a lesbian relationship that was really big for the comics because it's Why always do I been think like, I guy girl, girl likes Scott. Yeah, it's a big lesbian relationship that happens and a death that happens between them that was wild. I was like, I, think what I remember that. It was yeah, like a year or two ago, right? Who was it? Yeah, I, was, I remember. Um, I remember it, and I remember uh, like shortly thereafter. Riri they had, Williams. It was right. Yes, she was in a relationship with um another girl. I forgot. She's she's she was the lesbian relationship. It was Riri Williams and someone else. I can't remember on top of my head who it was, but it's someone that died. Um, yeah, those two. Yeah, it was Riri Williams. That was wild to me because I was like, oh shit, they're going off the mold. Now there's a black woman and it's a lesbian. This is great. Like, oh, you know, I was, I was feeling it. So it was really, really cool. Yeah, it was Riri Williams and someone else. She had a relationship with, I forgot who it was off the top of my head. It was one of the young, um, one of the young Avengers, AKA champions. Uh, so yeah, interesting stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> interesting, interesting stuff. But uh, yeah, he's a nephew of Prowler. Yeah, which I really hope they go off. Shit, I might go off with an audition for Prowler. Uh, <laughs> uh, Childish Gambino is he's, he's a cool guy, but uh, he's no Prowler, man. Like unless he just gets ripped and 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 puts on some facial hair and, and proves me wrong. Um, and I can't even Google this right now. So we're just gonna yeah I, forgot, I knew it was it was in <laughs> champions issue god it was champion something it was the first it was one of the first champion issues because they just made their group they just got clearance they got uh stuff from uh nick fury was running them and he was upset with them because they did stupid stuff like their first mission they challenged doom <laughs> that sounds right so <laughs> Nick Fury was like, do you know that this man can dismantle this whole thing? Like, you just don't go after Doom, bro. Um, and uh, yeah, Doom was really cool about it, though. It was really, that was really fun. Was it? Xana? Viv and Riri? Vive? Viv? Prowler was the amazing character in the comments. Big fan. But Prowler's a, Prowler's a very interesting... I loved him, actually, in uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Like, he, that, I mean, that character Prowler, was awesome. Iron Man? I mean, excuse me, Iron Spider Prowler was wild. Yeah. That joke was he was a better Spider Man than Spider Man. <laughs> like, Gotta love it. Yeah, uh, man, it was crazy. But that's when Miles Morales started d really developing his Venom Blast, too, which is kind of weird because Ultimate, th this is where I got kind of weird. Ultimate Spider Man is Prime Earth Spider Man, uh, Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. Those are the same person. Ooh. But the weird thing is, is the fact that he developed Venom Blast better in the Ultimate series, he doesn't have memory of that in Prime Earth. Wait, what? Yeah, he, 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 I mean, he has Venom Blast, but he doesn't know that he can manipulate Venom Blast. Miles Morales ah. doesn't need webbing. He doesn't need webbing. He can web sling with Venom. He can, he can do a whole bunch of crap with Venom. He can create a net. He can, like, it is it, like a webbing net. He can do all kinds of stuff with Venom Blast, but he doesn't have any idea of that in the Prime Earth. He doesn't use any of that. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, he just has a more potent Venom Blast in Prime Earth. So it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting. Uh, Earth uh, six one six when it got merged, wow. yeah, it's it's a it's a whole. But that's that's anyway. Uh, I can go down that rabbit hole yeah, all day. It, it, you know, and, I can and, talk Spider Man. And, and Josh was uh, Josh was right. Actually, was Viv and uh, and Riri. Okay. Or no, what was it? Josh or Zan? Zan. No, Zan, Zan. Thank you. Yeah, Huntress. Zana. Yeah. Yeah, Huntress. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, those two. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Very interesting. That that story. If you want to read that, it's a very, very, very interesting story arc. Very cool book. Miles Morales makes a pact with the devil. Crazy shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why does every Spider Man just go off the deep end? Jeez. Well, the stories you tell me, man. The stories you save tell me. Save his family. Save his family. Type okay. Stuff, you okay. Know? Yeah. It's just like I can't lose him again. Why the hell? You know, like type thing. So, uh, very interesting. Not my favorite story arc, but fun. Fun. Spider Man 2022. Oh me? Ha ha. I would love to. I, I'd be probably. I couldn't do Miles Morales. I'm too old for that. I couldn't pull it off if I wanted to. Um, and also, also, uh, probably bald. I can do that easy. Uh, <laughs> True facts. <laughs> anyway, uh, Black Panther, huge. Black Panther, huge. Bigger than Spider Man right now. Um, Black yeah. Panther might be. 
I think he's moving up in the ladder of being a four forefront runner uh Marvel marketed superhero because Spider-Man always took the cake. Is always Spider-Man. 100% anywhere you go, doesn't matter where yeah. you are, Spider-Man is there. I think Black Panther is now there because they're knowing that they're hitting a market, a huge market. Um and it's something that needs to be done. Also, you're starting to see even DC pull up with Black Canary. You're seeing DC pull up with a new uh, uh, Nubia. Nubia, is that her name? The the one, the Black Wonder Woman, Nubia. I think her name is something like oh, that. Oh, I, can't remember. I remember. Big... I remember seeing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you were talking about. I can't think of her name though. The, and the, obviously, the... Idris Alba as uh, Bloodsport. Yeah. So this rush of African American, you know, superheroes. Michael Jordan being pushed up. Huh? Michael B. Jordan. Superman. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan. Superman. All that stuff is starting to happen, and it's finally getting positive reactions. It's not like, oh, we have to check off a quota for every black person that comes in the mix because it's not a replacement. And I think that's the whole idea of it is, as long as we're not doing, I mean, and granted, Anthony Mackie is replacing Chris Evans in that story arc. People are okay with that because it was introduced very well. Yeah. Um, you know, I hate that we have to sometimes do this, but... Bucky helped that. You know, I feel like I feel like Winter Soldier having them there, it was a help for people to accept Captain America in that in that in that standpoint. Uh yeah. it's it's nice. And now we have Shang Chi and uh, we have some Native American uh superheroes coming up down the down the, the line. Uh hopefully on DC side they do it. Hopefully Runaways gets a little help as well. Runaways um, is fun. That, that show's fun on Hulu. I, that is a fun show. Dude, the to comic watch. is yeah. bonkers good. Why the hell can't anyway? And they're getting into uh the the LBGT as well, plus yes, because yeah. of um She Hulk, right? Yeah, is, she isn't Hulk. she I believe she's mm -hmm. lesbian, right? Yeah, so like yeah, 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 they're yeah, yeah, they're yeah, getting yeah. very, and, and very, very diverse. Oh, and hey, Riwi. If Riwi yeah. isn't sure you get together, I'm down for it. <laughs> I'm down for it. Why not? Why not? Let's go. We they never never hit on Shuri being in love with anybody, by the way. So it can happen. It could work. I don't know. You know? Uh I'm 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 really happy about it. Uh yeah, you have Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, we don't know what she falls into either. She could be she could be a lesbian as well. Oh, and then you have great. Speaking of Miss Marvel, you have um we always Not Miss Marvel, but Captain Marvel, sorry. Yeah, Captain we Marvel, always man. we always mess up her name. The girl at the end of WandaVision that's going up to space who has the powers now. She's she's another one out oh, there too, uh, and she's a very powerful uh, character. Uh, Every um, single time we mess up her name and forget about her name. Rambo. Rambo. Yeah, Monica, Monica Rambo. Rambo. Monica Rambo, yep. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Captain Marvel is rumored to be lesbian as well. So this is great. My, my whole point is the diversity that's being added yes. to the comic book universe and being talked about openly is really, really good. And Marvel being confident in their, in their givings of it is really good. You can't, and, and it's kind of like going back to the idea of um, cyberpunk. You can't be shakily careful with it. You just kind of put it out and get information on, on these communities to where it's, it's okay and, and, and you being a big star front, you have to say it's okay to have this, right? And I'm really happy that Marvel and DC are starting to like really, really show these, that the, like diversity is out there and, res, and rep, representation is great. And I think that's probably a good segue into Shang-Chi yep. is that there's been a lot of drama going on because a lot of Asian Americans don't have a lot of star front anybody unless it's a Kung Fu flick. And people don't see the problem with that. Like, they're like, I don't understand why people, oh my God, I'm not going into names, but there's people that I know that I can't believe let stuff come out their mouth. But they're like, I don't like the idea that they're, they're what they do is <laughs> they kind of change it to where they try to act like it's a positive, saying that they were greats like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, but they're all martial artists. I mean, Grand Chang Chang Chi is a martial art movie, but the thing is, it's bigger than that because it's dealing with superheroes, something that's in the market of Marvel, which is bigger than some indie studio putting yeah. together a martial art film that, film that kind of got popular in the u.s um and there was an interview with him on the red carpet and it was a touching moment because erica was there my, one of my friends who got to host for marvel yay for you <laughs> um and she was having a moment 
I forgot the other host's name. She was a white lady. I forgot her name. But she took a step back. Good job. Took a step back, let them both have their moment. Because cool. it was interaction between two Asian Americans that felt the exact same way to where she was like, growing up, I didn't have this. He was like, exactly. This is exactly why I love this movie. He was super excited about it. He was happy Everything to talk about, about it. Everything about this movie he is so excited yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. And that's great because he just got off of what was that show called that he was on? Yes, um, something Kim, I believe, yeah, and yeah, and, it, and, and and everything since that show got canceled was was so like um, very negative, so stuff. very negative with yeah. with essentially Asian Asian hate, which was wild, right? And he's saying and how he's uh, Kim convenience, convenience, thank you, thank you, yeah, you and ahead. how it's it's a great show, but all the the hierarchy stuff and sh filming, well, the it writers was, weren't Asian American, yeah. and they kept telling him how to be an Asian American. And, and, he's and like, that's well, the problem. Yeah. And that's and that's how it is now. The press is trying to say how Asian Americans should feel about this movie. And I'm like, you can't do that. Like <laughs> the whole point of being Asian American and enjoying representation is the same point of uh, African Americans feeling happy about representation. Yeah, we have a ton of it, but every time we see it, we're gonna hoop and holler about it because it's not norm. It's not the norm. And, and especially for Asian American and soon to be Native American, and soon to be Latino, Latinas, this is important, man. And a lot of people are watering it down, so there's a lot of drama with that. But one thing I like about the main character, I forgot his name, the actor's name. I mean, I didn't forget it, I just don't want to ruin the name. He is speaking out about it so much now, and a lot of people are invested in it. I don't know, you know how media is. They could be invested in it for clout. You know, at the end of the day, they could just be like, yeah, let's get him on and talk about this, because this is a, being a big stir up on Twitter. Um, but he's so open about it, and it's really good to see. Simu. And I'm That's so happy name. that Simu. movie did well. And I want, and I can't, and I'm really happy to see more of it, and that he's going to be like a long-standing superhero, not like a one-shot. You know? Yeah, he's. Um, uh, they've already said like th there's, he's gonna have his 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 stories within the MCU, and they're gonna have a big significant significance to it. Uh, Simu, Simu is his first name. I'm not gonna butcher his last name. It's either Lou or Lee. Yeah. yeah, but his first name is Simu. Um. And actually, this just hit right before we went. Probably. This is this just hit before we get go, went live. So you're talking about, you know, writers, directors. When you talk about Wakanda Forever, uh, Ryan Coogler, like being yeah. being um, the nationality of of what they're writing for and who they're writing for. And you talked about Miles Morales not mm -hmm. being that. Well, Armored Wars with Riri Williams and um, Don Cheadle, Don Cheadle is going yep. to have Yasir Lester. If you look him mm -hmm. up. He's of African American mm -hmm. descent. So mm -hmm. when you talk about being in this world, representing uh, these individuals of whatever races they're from, Marvel just gets it. So yep, yep. kudos once again yeah, to them. Kevin, yeah, Kevin is all about, he, he knows Twitter the importance great, yeah. of it um, and, and, and what that means. Yeah. And he's, he's really good about taking direction. Um, it was funny because I love seeing Ryan Coogler talk. Oh, he's because great. He brings he's up so the idea. Good. He's like, just because I talk like this, people don't think that I I know what I'm doing and stuff. That dude is intelligent. He is if you look up his, his, his history, individual. like his school history, just yeah, if you guys have a chance, take a chance to go look at Ryan Coogler. Like the dude is amazing. He made it his first film was a hit. <laughs> and it starred Michael B. Jordan, funny enough. Yeah. Um and it was a hit. And it and, and it, it was it was a message. And he's always about messages in movies, and he's really good about pushing those messages forward. And he does it in a very artistic way, in a very articulate way. And it's really great. And I, I hate using that word because people be like, oh, it's so articulate for a black person. I mean, that's crazy. But you know what I mean? It's, it's just done very well. And um, yeah, I agree, Glam. I love, I love Simu Liu. I think that's how you say his name. Um, his, his Twitter, because it's very, he is in your face about it. He's proud about it. And he should be. And um, I can't wait to see uh, Shang-Chi. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not going to go see it in the theater because safety reasons but i'm very excited to see it very excited to see where they go with that and um uh i even think uh salma hayek Hay hayek yeah i'm all, i'm also very excited that she's a lead role or maybe the lead role she's in the le she's the leader of the eternals yeah yeah i'm super character, happy yeah. about that and my god they better not kill her off um I, because it's really important to have her in the lead role yeah. as well being who she is and I and I and I love it. And she fits it perfectly. She's very she's always had a goddess feel to me, like in everything that she played, even from Dust Till Dawn. Um, she still has Great that movie. 
Yeah, great movie. We got this. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it was really good. Um, it was really great. But anyway, off of that subject, uh, uh, Avengers Black Panther Wakanda was great. Um, the, 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 the game was good. There was a lot. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. <laughs> of Easter eggs. Yes, yes. In was. that, literally talking to uh, uh, Zaravari, like, can you just walk in there and just listen to him talk? He talks about Wanda. Yeah, he actually he talks says. About Doctor Strange. Yeah, he says like he actually says her name, Wanda. Like she, like he was yeah. talking to her. That was yeah, sick. He, yeah. He was talking to all yeah. of them. Yep. He was talking to Doctor Strange. Like Doctor, it's been a while since we talked to yeah. each other. You know, so it was like that. Um, uh, who else? Uh, he mentioned uh, Adam Warlock. Oh. He mentioned oh my god, so many people that he mentioned. Uh, Loki. He mentioned. I think he was talking to. He wasn't talking to Thor. He was talking to someone else. I don't know who the hell he was. Um. Maybe, oh! Very, 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 very secreted news that slipped. Idris Elba is coming back to Marvel. Really? Uh, and Googly? Uh, Heimdall is not dead. <laughs> really? He slipped it. He slipped it. They now, said, well, if be... Heimdall's dead, are you going to be, like, you know, doing more DC? He was like, who said that he was dead? I was like, ah! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we might get some stuff with him. I'm really interested in that. I I, I would be so down with that. Um, but yeah, he slipped it up. He slipped it up. I, I forgot where I don't know if it was on Instagram or um Twitter that already, but it was on one of it was on now, one, I think it was Instagram. Oh yeah, it actually says Instagram. Yeah. Anything yeah. about having it down on a features yeah. Yeah, 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 Heimdall himself. Now I wonder if it's, but is, I guess it's actually not it cartoon. Be, it could be a flashback type thing. It could be a multiverse thing. Who knows? I mean, I, lo I love him in that role. I mean, obviously <laughs> he wasn't a big fan of it. We did not get a final confirmation on his death yeah. either. So that's, that's cool. Um, also, yeah, Samuel Jackson on Instagram was the first to say like two weeks ago that they were already filming Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel 2. Because he put, it was a weird picture. It was his fake hair and his <laughs> fake facial hair. And he was just like, it's time or something junk he said. <laughs> Uh, and that was great. That's that was cool. nice to see. We also got a rumor that Blade might be introduced before Blade. I mean, that makes so, sense. It does. I, I, I like, does. I like I how they did it. I don't know what it is or what it's going to be. If it's Spider-Man, I might lose my shit. I well, doubt it. Well, let's think about it, right? So we already got the news that, that Riri's coming in Black Panther. Mm -hmm. um, Falcon was introduced in Captain America. It seems like after phase one... And two, yeah, after phase one, I want to say, when it comes to Marvel characters being introduced into into this universe, it, it very much seems like they're they're utilizing a, another character or, or yep. a part of the mm -hmm. world to bring them in. So, so, which is smart, I think, because you're not only just hitting the 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 geeks, the comic book nerds like myself and and you, right? You're hitting a little bit massive of an audience. So you so if, if I take my wife out to go see Wakanda right. Forever and she sees Riri Williams, who is this? Like compared to just putting on Ironheart, like who is this character? You get a little bit of taste of where they come from, what they're doing. So if they do that and they're smarting doing it, I love it because B Blade, you could where would you put Blade in? Where multiverse you, i mean yeah spider-man uh doctor uh, strange, doctor strange because you're, yeah. you're new york I think doctor strange would be the best that would be the best but my god i really i'm praying for inheritors man oh my gosh <laughs> if we can get the inheritors oh it'll be it'll be glorious man i i'd be so happy um oh so i know we talk about like marvel and dc everybody uh but we're gonna we're gonna take it to india i mean walking dead is is yep. becoming more popular again so walking dead in the beginning I think seasons one through five or six or something like that was really, really big. Uh, then they had Fear of the Walking Dead come out, which was actually doing better than the main show at one point. Um, and now, you know, Andrew Lincoln left to be with his family. Uh, and no, no spoilers, because I'm like I said, I, I haven't seen past season six. Um, and we're, we're me and my wife are rewatching the whole thing. And Andrew Lincoln is coming back. It's confirmed. Yay for that. Uh, but the story is, is that he went home to his family. And his kids was like, dude, what are you doing here? Go back to being freaking Walking Dead. Why are you here? Like, he was like, but I want to see you grow up. <laughs> you know, it's been, it's, it's a 10 year show <laughs> at the end of the day. And, um, you know, he was like, I, I thought my kids missed me, but apparently they don't. And I miss, I miss Atlanta. I miss living there. I miss being around everyone. I miss, uh, I miss being Rick Grimes. Uh, so he's coming back uh, for season 10. 
Uh, uh, that's that's, that's really no that's really no spoiler or nothing like that. I don't want to like. You know, huh. we there was no no spoilers in there. I mean, everyone he left the show because he went to be his family. Uh, he didn't, and and it wasn't like a death thing or nothing like that. Obviously, so he's coming back, and there's Walking Dead movies, two of them or three of them. I think it, I think it was announced two of them, um, which is weird because normally they do things either one or in trilogies, but whatever, we'll go from there. But yeah, it's supposed to be a Walking Dead show about him after the events of the Walking Dead TV series. So that's gonna be interesting, and I don't know if it's gonna be a theater release or if it's gonna be HBO, not HBO Max, but Netflix original. I, you know, who knows? We don't know what that where that's going. No, AMC, yeah. excuse me, AMC. Yeah, they it's have be an AMC thing. original type thing uh, when it comes out. Like, come to AMC. But that's gonna be interesting. Uh, with October coming up, that's gonna be really big because typically uh, the Walking Dead release in October, like they normally do October releases, but I think they're gonna give some news about the walking dead the walking dead was so big they had their own like convention slots and stuff and I, I don't i don't i don't know you know the talking dead was really big walking Dead is huge on twitch as well like they have their they they do their show on twitch yep uh one of my friends chelsea bites is she hosts that thing and it's all the cast members and they come together and they talk about walking dead and they talk about gaming and stuff like that also Ooh. a lot of zombie games are going to start popping up Ooh, uh, it's yeah. funny how uh, project zomboid is being played a lot now and they made a lot of money recently uh, I think uh, streamer Sequisha is probably a big reason about that. He's been playing a lot of that, and it's been kind of branching off into other streamers. Now, Sacriel's playing, and Phelan's playing, uh, and a lot of other big streamers are starting to get into Project Zomboy. They're going through a phase right now. So zombies, zombies, zombies. I think zombies are coming back. We have Back for Blood, more zombies. Can't wait for that. Uh, you know, and that's in October. God, uh, October, stop. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so much stuff in it's October, bad. and so much, so much zombies, I think... And the comic books have seen a spike in sales. I went off and just ahead and bought uh, volumes one through six of Walking Dead collection. Wow. I went ahead and bought it off of Comicology because it's on sale. I spent like $109 for all of it. We're talking about like a ton of comics because they're putting the big volumes, right? Big, thick volumes. Um, yeah, that's so right yeah. too. HBO The Last yeah, of Us. That, I mean, HBO that's... Last of Us. Yes, yes. I think we're going to see a surge of zombies again. I, I think I think that's the, and we just had Zack so, Snyder's stuff come out, and they have another uh, prequel coming yeah. out of it, Army of the Dead. So I yep. think it, 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 Evil Dead, Evil Dead stuff yeah. is coming out. Of France. It's not, not so much zombies, but still, it's still it's um, still there, and it's and it's Sam Raimi, and it's uh, Bruce mm -hmm. Campbell, it's the OGs. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Hollywood TV movie, it is very cyclical. It's trendy. Like, like, yeah. like it is very trend trendy, right? You had Game of Thrones. I know we're coming back with it, but then The Witcher hit. I know you had your words with Witcher, but like. It is very, very cyclical, like like you said. So having, but having it, having it out there in true form. Like I remember, I was working in the city, and I remember going uh, day in and day out, uh, traveling two and a half hours each way. I had a lot of downtime because I was on the train, and I mm. remember live tweeting me. I think it was season six or season seven. It was. I'm like, I'm gonna go back and watch all the episodes. And I remember live tweeting like, oh my God, they did that at the end of the episode and oh, everyone Walking on my Dead? Twitter of Walking Dead, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah Like yeah. live tweeting, like almost like I'm watching episodes one to three now on my way on my way home. And I remember live yeah. tweeting and it's like, oh, just wait, just wait. I, I, I literally, I remember being on the train on the way home at like five o'clock and I was like, holy sh... And like everyone looks back yeah. and I'm like, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Walking Dead is, <laughs> it was huge, man. It was I mean, big. it still is. They still have like really hardcore fans. Oh yeah, um, but uh, my wife is she can't like literally every time I close my stream, she's like, "We watch Walking Dead." I was like, "You can watch it." I, I have I've seen all of it until season five, six. Five is kind of blurry to me because um, I was like falling asleep during half of. Not saying it was bad. I was just watching it really late. Yeah. Uh, and six, six is where shit starts hitting the fan, and I just kind of was like not paying attention because um, I felt like it was too much of a break in between the shows at that time. But um, but yeah, it's Walking Dead is coming back and it's pretty big in the comics. I wonder if they're gonna do more comics. You know, uh, that's that's the one thing that I'm kind of asking a question about. It's it's kind of a great time for them to do comics. I think they'll do really good, especially with the movie coming out because the comics are so different than the movie. I mean, than the show. Yeah. The comics are brutal. Like, does who does the comics? Is it Image? Uh, IDW. Let me see. Is it the Dark Horse or Image or? Yeah, I, uh, I have ooh. the comic. Act. Yeah, that's a great question. I, I it's like definitely I one of those. It it's definitely one of those three for sure. Um, 
He's old oh, no. as we Google. Oh, yeah, here, I got it. I got it. Uh, who? Okay. Because who, I have the comic, but uh, I have it open, create. so it's just not, it's being that weird. Uh, but anyway, uh, whoever's doing it, they, 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 man, it, it's brutal. Like, if you haven't read Walking Dead comics and you're a fan of the show, please read the comics. You will be like, wh- I mean, just, just the instance with, like, Lori is wow did they water that down in the in the show but man boy in the comic it was wow it's image okay image. That's what I thought. It's, yeah I thought. it's image i just yeah, saw image the big eye on the top some wow left, shit. Yeah. so yeah so image comics went ham with that they they did not hold back it's really good because the comic of uh, the comic walking dead comic is really real like it's like it really pushes the narrative of walking dead not being about the zombies it's about the people and the people are the walking dead not so much the zombies and, it, and it's really really nice that they really really went into the idea of that and they didn't they cut a lot of they cut a lot of the fluff out that you have to have in tv for you to have character development and relationship building and stuff like that it is i mean i mean episode one i think the comic book one is like episode one and two put into one comic you know in 15 pages so pretty interesting yeah it's very brutal in the comics uh, it's very good too, and a lot of characters. It, the comics don't really spoil too much about the actual show because a lot of the characters are flip flopped around. You know, uh, you know, you might have one character l- die early on in the show, but live a lot longer in the comic, and vice versa. So it's very interesting how that works. Uh, I, well, I say comics do kind of spoil here and there, but it's you know, it's still to a point where you'd be like, okay, I read the comic, but I really want to watch the show. Yeah. Um, they do a really good job. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm enjoying the Walking Dead rewatch. Um, I think we're on season three, about to be off of season three soon. No, it's 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 different, right? Season like even two. though you know certain yeah, things are gonna two. happen, it's on paper and seeing it visually, um, in person on screen, right. it's it's a different thing. It's the same thing with comic books to movies. Like we know the story of Superman yeah. or Tony Stark or or Spider Man, whoever it is, the characters that we grew up with on paper. It's okay, season three. All right, it's still it's still different when you see it on the big screen or on TV. Mm-hmm. Whether they yeah, change like, things like up or it's, said, or, Darryl, or it's a direct adaptation. Mm-hmm. Like Daryl Dixon wasn't a character in the comics, yeah. right? Uh, he's he was so he was so well done in the show that people literally said, oh, if damn. you kill off Daryl, we out. You ain't, the ratings are gonna drop. Yep. Like, we yep. just, we're not watching it. There was like a little rebel. I remember that. I remember back in the day seeing on Twitter nonstop, if you kill off Daryl, we're done with the show. If Daryl does that, we're freaking done with the show. Like they were just really going ham about it. So it was really, really like every season they would advocate about that. It was really funny to me. Uh, and I think that's where Norman, uh, Norman Reedus. Is. If Daryl dies, we riot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I think, yeah, it was the biggest. Norman was Reedus. Trending. Yeah. Yeah. Norman Reedus. I mean, that's, he was, he was in a lot of other things. Like the guy is not yeah. an amateur. Oh, he but was I in think, a I believe Saints. Walking Dead made him. Bigger. Yeah. Like, like you know we, I, mean? I loved him. him. I loved him in Boondock Saints, but. Mm-hmm. That that there pushed him. I mean, look, he he was in uh, um, Death Stranding, Hideki Kojima. Um, he was he was until it got canceled. The Resident Evil, um, Silent Hill video game. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yeah, like yeah, he yeah. he was he was multi. It was when it came to media, he was all over the place. Uh, he 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 just skyrocketed after that for sure. Oh man, no spoils, man. <laughs> I, I hate talking about walking dead anyway uh well that's gonna be a shame um, what else? my wife is probably gonna be really upset about that one um so yeah yeah no spot i i didn't i thought the crowd wasn't gonna spoil anything because i literally said that she hasn't seen past season two but anyway wait is yeah, winter... you gotta be careful with spoilers guys gotta be careful with spoilers um uh, all right, moving on. Debate, debate, because we gotta. Uh, there you we go. Got, we got, we're coming up on time. Uh, yep. You want to go over yours? <clasps> uh, brrr, debate. Okay, yeah. So one of the things that I was talking about was in regards to Marvel. Uh, did they over the years we've seen more characters come in, stories being uh, driven all over the place. Um, whether it be in TV or whether it be in movies. Um, as far as the rotation of the characters, since for the most part, outside of our DJ, I want to say, we have them there. Have 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 we or Marvel, excuse me, uh, created a good rotation of characters for like um, whether it's shows or movies uh, to bring out these stories and 
what about the obscure characters that were missing? So like mm. you talk about main characters, right? When we talk about yeah. Iron Man, we talk about Spider Man. I know MCU, yada yada yada. Thor. You know, now you're getting into Galaxy of Galaxy. Galaxy. They were more obscure, but really, James Gunn and the movies made them massive. What are some mm. of the next obscure characters when we're talking about that could bring in great story arcs for either film uh, or Disney Plus? Yeah, I think. I mean, Moon Knight obviously um, <clears throat> is definitely one that's just not popular at all. That's yeah. going to be popular. Uh, Punisher was another one. No one really cared about him. I mean, technically, he's not really a superhero, but. Um, Daredevil, uh, Daredevil had some kind of popularity, but I don't think Daredevil was even like remotely as popular as he was when the show hit. Um, who's somebody? I mean, who I haven't we seen before? Right, like we we haven't seen Moon Knight. We just talked about it. we haven't we, we haven't seen uh, Ironheart. Obviously, they're diving deeper in now mm -hmm. thanks to Disney Plus. See, I would say I, in part, like, like who are Ironheart we missing? And Katie Bishop are still like in the tops because they kind of feed off of the essence of their you know like uh, hawkeye and, and iron man you know mm -hmm. so I, I feel like those are easier adaptations for people yeah iron fist yeah I, oh god that show was, i forgot yeah. iron fist is they they literally just destroyed that whole thing um but anyway yeah uh white tiger oh yeah she actually played a big role between wakanda and uh spider-man uh craven um even though he's a villain uh yeah well, but craven we're gonna get him in sony's world Ugh, yeah i don't yeah so yeah like i said <sighs> <laughs> yeah, i don't consider so I, I i had a whole rant on my stream about sony oh uh, luke, the luke cage the first season of luke cage with cotton mouth that whole story that i liked better than daredevil than daredevil season two i really liked punisher yeah. that first season excuse me of luke cage was phenomenal i absolutely love that show it was probably up until disney plus stuff it was probably my favorite marvel produced tv show like it was it was mm -hmm. sick so good yeah it was really good uh they, they dealt with a lot in that show i don't know i hope it hope it comes back honestly um i keep checking in uh with colter michael colter yeah he's see, a he's a great know, actor he has too. news about it but He's been in South Carolina a lot lately. Because, I mean, so. seemingly they're starting to lose. I mean, obviously we have the rumors. I don't remember if it was officially announced, but obviously Charlie, Clark, Charlie Cox, Matt Murdock, um, Kingpin, Michael DeNorfio is supposedly coming back. Mm -hmm. Like, it seems like they're, they're Jessica cherry Jones picking. Jessica Jones is rumored to come back, which is, she's such a weird character. Like, nobody really yeah. cares about her, but okay. But she's, um, a, she's a beast of a character, though. She is she is a nice character. Is she I mean I don't know. It's 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 like Luke That's Cage. actually a good one, Huntress. That's I, actually I like a good the, one cuz Quake, Quake oh, I'm Quake, sorry. Yeah. Quake is massive when it comes to mm. just Marvel in general, right? When like I kind of feel like it's it's kind of Maria Hill is part of Quake, but she's not because she doesn't have character uh, the powers as her because she's the second the right hand man of fury or woman i guess so like quake is big when it comes to shield and everything right yeah um oh my but God, you were gonna say something about luke cage about. i apologize no, no no not that it was it was a character that i was trying to bring up that that hasn't had the light uh freaking uh like i said jessica um what's jessica's last name jessica davis uh spider woman Oh yeah, isn't she having something now too? She yeah, they have a show called Spider Woman coming. Yeah. Uh Jessica Drew. It's like Jessica Two, Drew. Damn names. <laughs> um she has her own movie. I mean her she has her own Disney Plus series coming out. Gonna be interesting because that will that start Clone Saga? And if it does, holy shit, is that what we're gonna be dealing with with Spider Man? Is Spider Man gonna hit at Clone Saga? Like, huh? That'd be interesting. Uh, I, I want to see Ben Riley. I want to see Scarlet Spider come in the fray. I think that will be super dope. He's a really big fan favorite that doesn't get any airtime. Or Spider-Man uh, 2022, which is kind of funny because it's going to be 2022. Um, yeah, I, I would like to see... Uh, what what do they call Spider-Man 2022? Is it just Spider-Man 2022 or is it Ultimate? Uh, no, they don't call it Ultimate Spider-Man. Um... Wait, Spider-Man 2022? 
Mm, let's 20, see. The only Spider-Man I know is 2099. 2099. I don't know why I said 2022. No, because, uh, because Glam wants um, you to be Spider-Man in 2022. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, May uh, Parker? But here's the issue once again, like... So Sp Jessica, Jessica Drew's Spider-Man, who's being uh, Issa Rae, uh, who's going to be her. Um, is Jessica Drew better known? Wait, wait. Is, is, is Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse? Is Jessica Drew better known? So it's it's not live. It's going to be into the Spider-Verse 2. It's not a... I'm trying to read this. I could have sworn I saw something about live Actor, action. Writer, Jessica, uh, Jessica Drew. Let me see. Joins the cast of the sequel of 2018's Oscar-winning animated Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse as Jessica Drew. So it's going to be uh, okay, in there. I don't think they're going... They, as of right now, don't have it. But I was going to say, like, once again, if that was... Well, there was... A yeah. live action. No, no, no. Daisy Ridley was, su was supposedly cast was supposedly going out to audition or be cast as Jessica Drew. Live action Spider Woman. Yeah, TV Daisy Ridley, series. which I would that's interesting. <laughs> that's really Please interesting. Please hold chat. Yeah, Daisy Ridley talks Spider Man Spider, Spider Man. Woman rumors if she joined the MCU. Finally clarified those Spider-Man rumors. See, when she was asked about uh, Spider-Woman, she specifically pointed out that she isn't in the front run for the role, but she thinks the situation is quite funny, that her words were taken out of context. Really also went to say that if the role came up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, appealed for her, she'd definitely go out and be interested. Uh, but there is there is rumors of a live action A live action Woman. film, yeah, I see what yep, you're saying. They're there. actually, yeah, supposedly they're casting for it. But here's the issue with it, then. If you talk about clone style, like, I want it to Jessica be part Drew, of the MCU, please. There's no way they can do nothing but clones. But they, guess... There's no way. Because there's, I don't think there's any story arc where she's not a clone. She's The whole point of her is that she is the perfect clone of Peter Parker, but yeah. in female form. <coughs> and me. so perfect that she took on her own identity because, she, I mean, she had to. And she's, in some instances, better than Peter Parker as, spider, as, as, as a spider, I should say. And this um, is, I mean, unless Sony drops billions of dollars, it's going to be part of the Sony Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So Which I, I think Disney's going to buy out Spider-Man. I know we talked about. We... I, I honestly, I think by the end of the contract, um, maybe after Venom and stuff, uh, maybe early 2022, we should be hearing news about it because Tom Holland already stated that he's not leaving Marvel. <laughs> So I don't know what that means, um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. I, I honestly think that Sony needs to give it up, Be, or or even if Sony made royalties off of it, just do that. Just pay them royalties for a year after buying Spider Man. Yeah. Just, just do what you got to do, Disney. Get get our boy back where he belongs. Like, oh, I, I can't I can't go off. Of, I can go on a tangent about how much I hate uh, Venom um, and what they're doing with it. But anyway. Uh, so my debate was using main characters uh, at release, also audience to get invested so that side characters are used. Uh, they continue to watch. So yeah, so that's 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 my thought, is that you need to introduce characters early on. Monica Rambo was introduced in Captain Marvel as a child. That was great. Um, rumors are that Peter Parker was introduced in Iron Man 3 as two, a kid that came out two. with... Or, was it 2? Okay, as a kid that came out with the... Yeah, 2. Yeah, came the, out mask. With the mask. Yeah. Um, and you know, that was a reference that, so I guess that's Miles Morales, uh, Katie like you Bishop saying, yeah. possibly was introduced somehow. Uh, I'm not going to say that was the girl that he was training with the bow and arrow. Cause I think that was his daughter. That was his daughter. And yeah. I, but we do believe that when he lost his daughter, he met with Katie Bishop between the blip phase of five years and became a daughter, like, you know, kind of like daughter, big was younger sister yeah. version. Someone that he has that emotional attachment to since he lost his family and she became his part protege and so on and so forth. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of references and a lot of early introductions of characters. Uh, again, Monica Rambeau being introduced in, in WandaVision and, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, Winter Soldier being built up a lot of... No one cared about Winter Soldier before Winter Soldier was in the movie. Like, no one really cared about him. You didn't really get any comics about it um, that people were hooping and hollering about. But with Captain America and Winter Soldier... Uh, that was huge. So yeah, I believe that that's 
uh that's a really good way to introduce and i think if dc goes about doing that you know everything we will work out for them um i think jason manoa is is pretty much aquaman i don't i still don't feel that dc is hitting that point where when you introduce a person as a character everything becomes that person right like rdj is tony stark they literally change the character Chris everywhere. Helms Nick Fury, is Thor, yeah. and a lot of people are like, well, uh, you know, Tony Stark is, and, and it kind of looked like him, or and kind of look like RDJ. So it's easy. Okay, Nick Fury, he was a complete white dude, <laughs> you know, like, and they complete well, white dude with hair, <laughs> and they completely changed into a black dude, ball headed. So it, it that can work. So yeah. Jason Manoa being introduced, I think it makes more sense for someone. For, I, I don't know. Is J, Jason Manoa is Polynesian? Is he Polynesian? I, I, I don't know. I don't want to mess that up. Ooh, um, I don't know. I know he's from Hawaii, but I think he's Polynesian. But he's a man of culture at the end of the day, uh, an islander. Uh, so, you know, I, I believe Aquaman, it makes more sense for Aquaman to flow that way, honestly. So I think the casting for Aquaman wasn't a bad idea. Uh, I think they need to change the comics because I never understood <laughs> uh, the way they did Aquaman in the comics. It was accepted. Um, Ah, interesting. And maybe even maybe even Aqualad. Um, I mean Aqualad be introduced in in DC Comics. But I think the Young Avenger not a Young Avenger, excuse me, Young Justice should be introduced in DC Comics and let let the new directors go ham with it. I think I think that'd be really good. Titans is is a good way of, of introducing characters, and if they pull in the movies with that, that'd be great as well. Um, yeah, I think the one so, the one thing with DC is that they're just so separated. Like they, they they tried to bring it together with Infinite Crisis on TV, but if you're not watching the TV shows, you have no idea what's what happening in the movies. You're 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 spread across three different genres. You got you got digital, you got TV, you got movies, um, and none of them are are intertwined. Yes, they tried to with Infinite Crisis two years ago, two and a half years ago, but it's they gotta they gotta consolidate and figure out what's going to be their main timeline and then yeah. and then branch <laughs> and then all puns intended and then branch off from there because you know you got you're going to have 1 2 3 4 you're going to have four batmans going on at one time you have the batman that is currently in titans you have Michael Keaton returning. You have Ben Affleck returning. And technically, you can use Kevin Conroy's Batman from TV. So if not if not four, you have three Batmans that next year will be living. And it's all completely different and all whacked out. Yeah. And it's... I, I, it's, it's not so uh, bad. It's, it's bad, but it's not like... I, I, this opens the door for DC to be able to be like, all right, we're wiping all these out. These are, these are fun little side gigs. This is the main... You know, canon DCEU that we're going to be doing right now. Like they, they have they have every door open to do that, and I think they need to bring in people like Michael B. Jordan. Uh, they need to bring in people that that make money just by being on screen. I think Idris Elba was was perfect. Oh, like, Robert Patterson. Yeah. I'm sorry, five. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert <laughs> Patterson. Yeah, God. I, you know, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I had to say it just popped I, in my head. I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even. I, I hope he. I hope he destroys that role. And, and we can grow up with Robert way? Patterson as Batman. Oh, okay, in a good way, yeah. Um, yeah, in a good way. I hope he destroys it in a good way because I, Robert Patterson is still pretty young, and I think he could grow up as Bruce Wayne pretty easily if he's made canon. Like, we need a canon Batman. Yeah, uh, I think he's you know. roughly the same oh, Michael, age. Michael Keaton is coming back too. Good lord. Yeah, um, so I think it's kind of. I think he's roughly the same age as Christian Bale when he started his dark uh, Batman Begins a Dark Knight, yeah, give or Knight, take. So yeah. we could get. A lot out of him if they do it the right he way. He looks really good, like a really good Batman in yes. the suit, though. Yes, he has he the does. Batman chin, that's for sure. Um, and I think he could really pull it off. Uh, I think I think it's a really good role for Robert Pattinson to prove people wrong because we're yes. used to seeing him as a sparkled up, you know, teenager running around. So yeah, that's all I hear is like a sparkle in the sunlight type thing in my head, and and, and, I, and or 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 Harry Potter. Yeah. I don't see Robert Patterson as anything oh, else. God, I forgot was in Harry Potter. But playing in Harry Potter and, and playing in Twilight. Like, what a saga. To be an actor is to only be known yeah. for those roles. 
sucks. And those two really <laughs> <laughs> like, and being cheated on by your girlfriend. <laughs> like that sucks for him, man. So Rip. I really hope that he can really pull off that, man. I really hope. I think he he looks great in the suit. I think the suit looks great. I think the production value looks cool. And I think he'll absolutely destroy the role because he's got something to prove. Yeah, and they're you know? doing it right where they can build off of it because this yeah. is supposed to be Batman like right after year one. Like the, the end of year one, beginning of year two. He's Batman. He's still learning. That's why his suit looks like it's very um uh SWAT esque, military esque. Yeah. It's not like I high tech and everything. A lot of mistakes. He can yeah. Like yeah. the way his fight style is. I hope he gets beat up a little bit actually. Like yeah. uh, uh, he's yeah. gonna give beat downs, but I wanna see him get beat up a little bit too. Yeah. Um I'm uh I'm 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 he can meet I'm I'm cool. Yeah. He there's so much there, dude. He can he can have a love interest. You can, he have his, he and can you have can finally kid, you, know? you could finally bring in a real Robin, like yeah. into the series too. Yeah, I'm I'm very interested in what they're gonna do with that because that could be the spark that's gonna that, light I think light that's what the we way need. for future Not a true things. origin story, but a young Batman that makes mistakes and and and, and doesn't get stuff right. And actually, you know He's what? We're perfect. we're about yeah. we're we're approximately a little bit less than uh two months away for probably getting a lot more information on that. So for those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. um, two big things for both DC and Marvel. Um, we have October 16th, 2021. So that is a Saturday. Oh, that's going to be interesting. We're going to have to figure that out. So DC fandom on October 16th is where we're going to get a lot of information from this, a lot of the new movies and a lot of TV shows that are coming out. It's, it's their version of a San Diego yeah. Comic Con. A lot it's of their presentation, and yeah. The replacements, and hopefully we know where WB is going to go with this whole thing. Yep. Hopefully we know who's going to own DC at some point. Yeah, um, because they got the whole with discovery. Or own WB, I should say. Uh, yeah. I and then and so, I, I'm 100 for Disney becoming a monopoly and taking them. I don't care. Did you? What people say. Did you hear? <laughs> did you hear that got what got leaked about a month and a half ago after the AT and T merger? That that mm. that literally the president of D Bob Iger or Eager, whatever his name was at the time, actually mm. reached out to Warner Brothers when they were first put up to sale a couple of days later and they said, How can we make this happen and what could happen? And then WB told Bob Eager, We already have something kind of solidified. Like they were just too late. Like we were this close. They were just like a couple of days late, apparently. From them buying out Warner Brothers and DC, I oh man, it's out like you can look it up. Like there's, I think it was Bob Iger Ooh, actually, Disney? Disney Bob Iger, oh, the, the, the like actually the CEO at the time because he's now moved on, reached yeah, out yeah. to Warner Brothers and said, "How can we make this happen?" When they first, with the announcement of first, hey, we're going up for sale yeah, and yeah, we yeah. want to sell, but apparently they uh, were a couple of days late. I was like, oh god, we were so close. <laughs> damn, that would have been great. That would have been so uh, good. I know. Yeah, I'm all. I'm all for. I'm all for my, uh, Disney becoming a monster because they just do so good. I mean, look at Pixar. Look at all. The mouse uh, everything doesn't that is do wrong. It's just godlike. It's really great. Yeah. Uh, I know everyone calls it the evil. Oh, we got to talk about this. I mean, Star Wars, dude. Like, what the freak? Star Wars going anime as hell. I love oh, it. Oh, visions. Bro, the ancient oh, Star Wars. Man, the Samurai dude. Wars? Please give it me. Give feed me. Oh, and okay. you know what I love about that too? You're gonna be able to watch this the the dubbed and subbed. And then the just like I'm so happy that we're going yeah. both routes. I yeah, am yeah, yeah, yeah. so excited for that comes out. Yeah, because I expect it September just dub, 22nd, honestly. I believe. I believe it's when? September 22nd. It oh, it comes out next yeah, yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, essentially I'm a month so from excited. now. I'm oh, so I'm excited. I'm so excited because I I, I I said Origins or um, Old Republic or, or something ancient about you know like the dawn of age you know that we don't get to see in different galaxies will be sick and i'm so happy that star wars is branching out i know uh you know uh kevin you guys know kevin of uh, Rare Drop. i know he's not he's not really feeling it 100 percent. he doesn't know where he stands on it but man i'm excited i like new interactions new integrations with stuff i just really really love seeing it go a different route and getting excited for it seeing samurai sword lightsabers and shit is the, yes yeah i mean we saw a damn sam we saw a dang uh uh lightsaber umbrella bro and yeah <laughs> <laughs> i 
I'm saying, like, you can't get mad about samurai swords if you got an umbrella, umbrella of yep. all things. That's, yeah, I, I'm, I'm all me. Dude, I, and I'm all for the animation styles and how they're all different. I love how they're, mm -hmm. they're storytelling. They have like, legends doing it, dude. dude. These are so, animation I know, legends right? that are known for their godlike interactions. When, correct me if I'm wrong, Chad and Frank, I don't know. When, when Bad Batch released new episodes, were they Wednesdays or Fridays? I think Wednesdays, if I'm not mistaken. Were they Wednesdays or Fridays? Like, Wednesday. obviously, they I'm just recently had their season finale, I think, uh, two weeks ago. Fridays. So this is interesting. This is go. If, if Visions come out on the 22nd, if that's the date that I have in mind, chat, let me know if I'm wrong. Mm. We're yeah. actually going to have our first crossover because What If is still going to be going on on September 22nd when Visions comes out. So that is our first time that we're actually going to have on sense. the same day have a have a Star Wars big release and a Marvel big release on the same day. I'm really interesting to see how I mean you're probably still going to have skyrocket through the roof record breaking numbers watching it but I believe that's going to be the first time we're going to have them crossing over on the same dates. Yeah, I I I mean it, it makes sense though. I mean be having a Star Wars in and they're both going to be cartoons. It's going to be a big day for, animations, for, for ratings me. for them. And a big day for watches for them. Yeah, I absolutely. Think I think it's a good deal. Absolutely. Honestly. One, one yeah, quick, I'm, I'm excited. One quick note, going back to, to, to my question. Um, three, I, I needed to look them up real quick, but Adam Warlock, Namor, <laughs> and no, Nova. Those are three from the MCU I'm interested in. We, I feel like we're going to get Namor and War for Wakanda. Uh, I'm sorry, Wakanda Forever, excuse me. Uh, Adam Warlock was teased at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. He's definitely coming to the MCU. We just don't know how he's going to be integrated. He, yeah. I mean, yeah, he was in Guardians of the Galaxy teased. And Nova's um, another one. He should have been introduced in Guardians of the Galaxy with the with Nova Prime. And, it, and like, it's we haven't had him. So those are three that I'm, I'm kind of uh, MCU-wise bigs that we haven't seen, you know, with, with Adam Warlock technically. We could have, but we haven't. But, um, yeah. That's gonna be uh that's gonna be an interesting one. That is gonna be an interesting one. Nova would be interesting because I, I hate how they did Nova in the comics. Um, because Nova don't Nova have celestial powers? Um, that is a great question. I feel like I think he has celestial powers, but he got them taken away, which happens in a celestial universe. Um, happen happened with Spider Man. Uh, <laughs> uh because i believe celestial powers is to the point where they have you have to be deemed worthy or something of that nature let's see oh hmm. um yeah uh celestial manipulation I believe is his power celestial manipulation cosmic Cosmic powers. Cosmic, Co cosmic powers. celestial. Yeah. Same universe. Um, yeah, he does have cosmic powers, but he gets them stripped away from him. Uh, and that that's really huge. I would love to see that in MCU because that I want to see how mental health plays a role in the MCU mm. um, on, on a whole different standpoint. We kind of got it with Robert Downey Jr. and being stranded in space thing. And a lot of other things like him dealing with like uh, anxiety people and people being panic killed attacks. off and stuff like that, like civilians being killed off in the line of duty. But how does a superhero deal with like losing their powers? That's huge. Yeah. He doesn't, and he's in young. He loses his powers in Champions Young Avengers. Loses his powers. He becomes a pilot. Um, huh. because I mean, yeah, he yeah, becomes a pilot sense, for yeah. them. But he feels useless. He's like, all he I can useless, do is fly yeah. a ship. And I didn't go further with that, so I don't know if he gets them back later on or not. I feel like he does get them back because that was kid version of him, and I feel like the adult version does have cosmic powers again. Um, but I don't know if he was deemed unworthy and lost his powers. I really didn't deep dive into Nova because that was a spinoff comic. Other than you, didn't, you don't need to see how he loses it in in Young Avengers. They did that reference thing where they start and they put it at the bottom, so you could read chapter blah 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 whatever mm. to see it. Um, but I think that would be so cool to see how superheroes deal with losing their powers and what they go through. You know, we dealt with, the, like I said, we dealt with mental health on a standpoint of losing people. Yes. With the blip and all that stuff. But I want to see it on a, on a superhero standpoint. Um, when, they, when it affects them, they lose their powers. How do they go about living as a normal person? 
or is he still normal? Like, you yeah. Know, so it's, it's, there's a lot of things that I that I would love to see, and I think that'd be really good. Moon Knight to be a TV series. Moon Knight's gonna. I mean, it's not gonna be in that aspect of it, but we're, but we're yeah. gonna get into mental. Yeah, a we'll form get into, of mental yeah, health yeah, with yeah, Moon Knight a little bit. And but stuff yeah, like I mean, that. we. I mean, on on a on a um on a superhero level. You know, having powers taken away for for what it could mean for the MCU moving forward would be incredible. But obviously, mm. really sitting down and they're they're going into a lot of different areas right now. Obviously, when it comes to actors and actresses, writers, um, directors, and, and getting in the the, the LBGT community, um, it's going into the mental aspect of it too and having it hit home. I mean, that's that's just another step. I feel like for them and they they kind of. Did it, but really going ham, going deep into it would be um would be very interesting if you see. And I feel like we would all have a uh, connection and just a uh, moment with it in a in a way. Mm. Man, so man, it's already almost the time. Deal. Damn. If Marvel, let's say Marvel buys out Sony, or Sony and Marvel do a collaboration where Marvel kind of controls the Spider Verse. Madam Web is supposed to have a series right now is is dangling in front of MCU. It's supposed to go more MCU than Sony's whatever the heck they're planning. Yeah. If Madam Web becomes a thing, that means inheritors are going to be brought in. And that also means we might get Cosmic Spider. So Cosmic Spider makes a lot of sense in the MCU right now dealing with the multiverse and dealing with the, the multiverse of madness because um, they're mm. going to have to fight on a celestial cosmic level. And I really hope we get cosmic spider, even if it's for a brief moment, that would be sick. I, I, I'd, 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 I'd be down for a cosmic, like Peter Parker. I want, um, but I, I wonder if they're going to utilize Brie Larson as that character though. Cause she went toe to toe as kind of like that big being that can take on anybody because she did it. I mean, maybe she with, did with, it with in, Wanda. I mean, uh, with uh, Rambo, Monica Rambo, and, yeah, uh, and Scarlet Witch. Because Monica Rambo is apparently just as strong as Captain Marvel. She so, is a strong character. Yeah, yeah. I Which, look at very interesting. I I, I want to see more development before we get into those hardcore movies with, yeah. uh, with with Monica Rambo because she just knows how to use her powers apparently, and that's weird to me. So the fact that she Ooh, we was got like, we got little like. Oh, this is happening to me. It's in my head. Let me do it. She, she, we don't know this. I mean, pun intended, I guess. We don't know the spectrum of her powers yet, but we've seen a little bit of a tidbit. And she just, she's figuring out she has some and she still has to figure out what it all means. So there's probably going to be a montage or like something of that and her training with her, maybe in space, because it's safer than on Earth. But look at Nightshade's question. <laughs> I know you uh, like most, that. <laughs> that's that's the question of the day right there. Uh, they they kind of put that under a rug, man, and stepped on it. We we they decided to make a dumb Venom two film and, instead of making Mobius, which Mobius looked more promising than Venom, honestly. Well, I mean, um, before we get out, I mean, that's interesting. Speaking of Venom, right? Uh, Shang Chi isn't delayed. Venom just got back, got pushed back another two weeks. So Venom needs to be pushed back another three years until <laughs> Marvel can buy him. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I... Oh, and Spider-Man is not delayed. Spider-Man isn't delayed. Kevin Feige made the joke that, you know... It, yeah, the trailer's trailer right gonna come the out before it comes out, yeah. I don't know why they're doing that. Because they're feeding off these people thinking that freaking Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield's birthday was like yesterday or the day before yesterday or yeah. something like that. And everybody and their mom is like tweeting Spider-Man, the best Andrew... And people were just going ham on that. Oh, but uh, it was funny God. to see that. Um... I, I honestly, I'm gonna say it right now. I might lose this bet, but I, I'm pretty sure Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are not gonna be a part of the MCU. Period. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be in it. Not um, gonna be in the movie, or not gonna be part of the MCU, or both are. Period. Period. I, either. Okay. I don't think they're gonna be in either one of those. Tobey Maguire, have you seen him lately? My man look old. <laughs> My man is looking like he's stressed out, like not getting no movies or something, man. Like. I, <laughs> Homeboy is stressed. It, it got, he looked old in, in Spider Man, like back yeah, in the day. Yeah, he was already older. Looks, people, he, yeah. He's looking rough lately. Uh, that that man has to go through a complete manipulation. Like I, I don't know. I know that Michael B. Jordan's training stupid hard right now. He's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, he's uh, his got his new movie Jordan, uh, Letter for Jordan, or something like that is coming out. And he for, and uh, he's also AM, he's AMC. also doing a uh, Creed 
three soon. So like three, three. he's, he's a, back in the training, but he's not like super in cut that free. one. He's like getting bigger, bigger, bigger. So I mean, that could um, be Superman. I wonder if Superman could... has something to do with it. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> he's training with that dude that makes monsters out of people. So that's that's really cool. I'm also, in. Um, I'm in. there was a comparison between uh, John Cena and uh, The Rock. Uh, lately, they're doing side by side pictures. John Cena is getting like pretty big too. Well, I mean, he was. Um, he was. I mean, there was the scene his, in his arms look in, abnormal in in uh, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Yeah, I mean, there was that scene big. when he's in his tidy whities but dude, he's he's like The Rock. They're both. When you, I know we've talked about The Rock before and him being a specimen. Like there is no other. John Cena's. John, you saw. I mean, John Cena is big. I don't know, man. Yeah. He's another one, but I yeah. just want to be The Rock when I grow up. So. <laughs> the Rock is 48 years old. It looks like he's freaking 30. Oh, 35. I mean, speaking of DC fandom, we're probably going to get something big for Black Adam. I think we're going to get a Black Adam. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a Black Adam trailer. Like they, they've been, I, I, I feel like they've been shooting mostly for that trailer than, than anything. So I'm, I'm Paul, pretty sure that we're going to get that. Get uh, Dwayne on the I show I know you have the text to make. Huh? <laughs> I said, Paul, get Dwayne on the show for us. Oh, yeah, that'd be dope. <laughs> We're trying to get him on Twitch Gaming. Um, <clears throat> yeah, nice shit. I know we have the technology, but here's the deal. Tommy McGuire can't do it. He, he, he won't be able to do any of his stunts. Um, you might as well just put a different person in a suit. <laughs> At the end of the day, put a different person in a suit. The acting role, there's so many actors that can play Spider-Man better than him. Come on. If, so, if they brought him in, I would not mind him being who he is now. Peter Parker. He's a he's a he's a Peter Parker that is aged. He's been through it kind of like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Maybe, maybe a lab rat. Like Peter like, Parker Industries. Yeah, like you had different Peter Parker, yeah. you had different things. The, the the multiverse doesn't have to be the same time tam, timeline. Everyone is the same age. Well, like it yeah, could be I'm just all introducing over the place. It as yeah. what people want it to be. Oh, people yeah. want it to be like all the Spider Man swinging on the damn At the webs, end of Spider Man you know, 3, together. it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm about to retire Spider Man. I'm now, out. He, he could be Peter Parker Industry Spider Man, yeah. where he's like kind of settled in. He gave up the mantle. Um, you know, maybe he even gave the suit to the Prowler because he did that for because Prowler was Spider Man for a long while. Long while. Um, yeah. God, it's so sad that Chadwick Boseman is not around with it because there was so much they could have did with that. There's so much. They could have did the, the Luke Charles stuff. They, they could have did it anyway. But, anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, old man Peter Parker. Uh, much, let's say mature, mature Peter Parker would have been, been pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just interested in Goblin, honestly, because it's like, it's kind of hard to not have, it's kind of hard to have a Spider-Man without Venom and a Spider-Man without Goblin, even more hard without Goblin. And I'm and I'm kind of glad that we haven't seen a goblin yet, uh, in in uh, the new yeah. Spider Man's because it's been done in literally every Spider Man. There was a goblin. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they, they've seen it done twice. Yeah. So I'm I'm interested in seeing what they're gonna do with that. I would love a I would love a Sinister Six and and where where Spider Man loses. There. I would <sighs> love that. I mean, they're setting it up. We've seen Spider Man get his ass kicked already. Tom Holland against Vulture. Right against Michael Keenan's Vulture, so yeah. if they if they are he technically doing, beat Vulture, but he did get his butt whooped. Like he, did get his butt like whooped, he yeah. got he was yeah. he was he was that's the closest to to losing we've seen. Yeah, that so was a good far. film. Yeah, that was a really good film because it was a that that was stripped straight from the comics too because uh, Peter Parker like was doubting himself and and that whole scene of him pushing up on the the ceiling that collapsed on him and stuff that that's yeah. straight out of the comics i'm that's really it. happy that they went that way uh miles morales is being casted as a kid but not for spider-man so we, we we know that they did castings last year it could have been pushed back because of covid which i'm i'm thinking that what it was uh they did casting calls for a they didn't call it miles morales but we all know it is just by the caption but it's a kid growing up normally it's just a normal kid, um, you know, and, and and that Peter Parker might see here and there in, in some of in one of the Spider-Man films in the future if we get them type thing. It wasn't like a full on like Miles Morales Spider-Man type story and nothing like that. Also, they're not going to step on the toes of the Spider-Verse because that's too huge. Um, so yeah, into it's the not going to be that too. crossover. Yeah, because that comes yeah. out into the Spider-Verse <clears throat> 2 is supposed to come out next year, 2022 yep. right now, yep. which yep. theoretically shouldn't be delayed because it's all animation. Um, yeah. but you never know with COVID. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, but yeah, I don't think they're going to step on their toes. And like, you you know, you brought it up before. There's the direct correlation. We've already apparently seen Spider-Man or Peter Parker in the MCU in, in Iron Man 2. Um, so why and and the other character you brought up, I just lost their uh, lost them in my head. Then the name. So why not bring in somebody in Wakanda Forever or another movie, a young version that just randomly pops up on screen, I mean, giving a name or not a name in the MCU? Is his existence is there? They brought it up in Homecoming. You know, Did they? when uh, yeah, Childish Gambino says he's doing something for his nephew. Oh, do something for my ne nephew. Yeah, because he was yeah, the prowler. Ice cream or some shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that that's Miles Morales. I mean, we know that. Um, but I, I I hate that they that I, I know why they put uh Glover in there because he's a big reason of the existence of Miles Morales and was a kind voice, of a hold to him yeah. and I and I get that, but. They, they better have a different prowler and le like i said unless he puts on a lot of muscle and he gets really athletic and he cut you know he cuts he, he cleans up his look and when uh, yeah i don't know i don't know prowler I, I, like yeah. when i see but yeah prowler, I do agree. I we do need kingpin I when agree. i when i kingpin see has to come yeah when i, I see prowler i see this a tall guy right like i i like childish not necessarily have to be tall it's just he just needs to be like it's kind of look, look like that yeah that overpowering like mature not afraid in your face type guy like yeah prowler just doesn't he gives zero f's like prowler is i, I and prowler has his own comics and i and prowler is such a strong character and they just always water him down and everything he's always like a sidekick and everything and i hate it um but yeah prowler is a very very strong high-tech character um who steals all his tech yeah, you know, so I, I would love to see something. Maybe we get a glimpse of him in in the third iteration of uh, Black Panther. You know, so I mean, they, they know they have it. Ryan's I mean, already signed up for it. It's going there. So, um, so oh yeah, the trilogy of, was like deemed wait mid show mid making of Black Panther. Mid making yeah, of Black Panther. And confirmed and after three, the yeah. sales of Black Panther. We back. <laughs> But I think I think Black Panther is that I think he's the one. I think he is the next Spider Man marketing. Yeah. Like you're gonna get those two up there. Makes sense. Uh, Wolverine would probably be the third if they do well with him. Um because um, Wolverine is coming to Avengers video game. Um we don't know when, but he is coming. Spider Man is coming too. And I'm gonna kill all MCU, rumors about yeah. Spider Man. He's not getting his own story. Sony is apparently working on it, not uh Crystal Insomniac. Dynamics and Sony are collabing, but mostly Sony. Uh, he's gonna be a brand new Peter Parker. It's not gonna be Insomniac's Peter Parker, which we wish it was, um, and, and we wish Insomniac was doing because we get better swing physics. But uh, it's gonna be a, just a, a character that's introduced to the MCU. I mean, excuse me, the whatever you want to call it, the Avengers universe. And uh, on top of that, he is uh, gonna be an exclusive release. So that doesn't. He's not gonna just be on PlayStation. Hasn't been confirmed completely confirmed it's a timed uh, release wise window. so to speak but we know how this works you can't yeah. just have spider-man just be on playstation if you want money you 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 do the exclusive to, to give sony what they want you do it well and then you bring it to pc and and you make even more money so um and and the money wise i mean off of skins Oh yeah, absolutely. Because that's where Spider Man's gonna make the money. <laughs> oh, and those those Black Panther skins are nice, by the way. Yeah, those are. Um, yeah, they 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 did. You know, Crystal Dynamics, Square Enix is a publisher, but like, let's say like Crystal Dynamics developer wise, you guys killed it. Yeah, Black absolutely. Panther. Like you, you slaughtered it. It's still a repetitive game. It's still back to this core, but they added some new flair, like the vibranium event and stuff like that. Yep. Catch up mechanics are in the game. Makes you and uh, they also have the experience boost that you get for free. So nice, at the yeah. end of the day. Play the game if you like. If you like Marvel, play it. Um, if you like Avengers, play it. Anyway, uh, we're over in time. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we are way over <clears> time. One, one thing, actually, I, I looked it up when because we brought it up before. Michael DeNorfio, Kingpin. So he's a. It's all part of the plan. That's why I love the MCU. It's all part of the plan. He's supposed to reprise his role in Hawkeye, which, funny enough, will then take us lead into the MC, Will take us lead into Spider Man, which will then lead us into the multiverse. Like it's. It's all part of the plan. Yep. So yep. it's reported. And there's rumors that Matt Murdock might be in Spider-Man, like well, in December. Char yeah, Charlie Cox, who played well, Charlie Cox is the actor who played Matt Murdock in the Daredevil series, where Michael DiNorfio mm -hmm. was in, is supposed to play and be Peter's lawyer, uh, Tom Holland's Peter's lawyer yep. in 
no uh no way and, home so it's, it's yep and and hell's kitchen was already rumored in yep. two movies uh to both spider-man yeah. and Hell's kitchen was brought up so i'm ex- the, like, the, this was a crazy week man i know we gotta go but yeah this was a crazy week with with news with rumors obviously some of the breaking stuff that came out recently with with uh armored wars and uh wakanda this week like you said it's all umbrella man but you know this is this is just this is just the beginning these next couple of weeks these next couple of months for for all of us here, all of us listening at home, it's gonna be a wild ride between movies, TVs, comic books. There's a lot of good stuff coming yeah. on comic books, and and I know we hit on it when we talked about Walking Dead. But if you're a Star Wars fan, High Republic is amazing. Uh, we got a bunch of Ghostbusters stuff coming out. TNMT just had a great story arc just come mm-hmm. to an end. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like there's so much good things. Uh, Power Rangers comic books, He Man. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a good time <laughs> to one of us, one of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good time for kids too, because they yeah. get to see what we. Uh, and if you're a father or a, or a mother, uh, and you're into this stuff, it's a great time to introduce your kids to it because you Absolutely. get to like, share that moment where you go, "Oh my God, I remember Gray Skull and this, that, and the other," you know, so to speak, and and they can like vibe off that. It's really dope. So, anyway, guys, as we always say, make sure you guys, you know, stay safe out there. Wear your mask when you go out in public. You know, uh, be careful. If you go to these movies and stuff like that, and also if you find any reports or anything that we d- we missed, make sure you bring it along and bring it up in the next episode and let us know. We'll we'll research it and talk about it. On top of that, and uh, yeah, keep your eyes out. Watch your what ifs for your homework. And yes, if you see, like I said, watch any watch Shang Chi when it comes out uh, and all that good stuff. We won't I won't be seeing it on on start, so it'll be a while since we talk about it, but um, we'll see. But anyway, guys, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, it's been Technique and Night Hot Plays, and this is Comics episode 14 oh, yeah. what number are we wow. on now wow. we may have some special guests coming up too so yes that. check out the rare drop uh twitter and our twitters all right guys have a good one we'll take it easy and see you on the mix next time episode 15 next saturday bye bye